Barca fans, welcome to Barca Live. The Champions League returns tonight as Barca take on Dynamo Kiev, and we are just one point away from qualifying to the knockout rounds of this competition. There is lots to talk about, but before we get into it, let me introduce my lovely panel, starting with Robert. Just three days ago, we were here for La Liga, and now three we days were, later, we were. we're here and for we the Champions League. We want things to go League. better tonight. We want things yes. to go better tonight, of course. We want to bounce back. We want to win, and we want to get through to the uh, round of 16 as soon as possible. We only need one point for that to happen. Just tonight. one point. That's it. And to my right, Mai, you're excited for the Champions League, like always? always excited. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because this is the, the big night for everyone. And it's so good to have football every three days. Yes, we love it. We can't get enough of football and exactly. of Barca. All right. Well, we know the lineup. So, Robert, take it away. Because I know the fans want to hear the 11 players that are starting the fans tonight. fans want to know. And I'm sure they'll be surprised with tonight, uh, tonight's lineup. Uh, we knew that we've got lots of players out due to injuries. We'll be talking about that. Also, Lionel Messi and Frankie de Jong didn't travel with the team. They're getting rest uh, on for, for this game. So let's go and show the fans the lineup. In goal is Marc Andre Stegen, a defensive line of four with <laughs> Serginho Dest, a debut for Oscar Mingueza, Langley, and Junior Firpo. In midfield, Pjanic and Alenia up front. Trincao on the right, Pedri on the left. On the left, sorry. Braithwaite up front and behind him is Felipe Coutinho. I want to know your thoughts, guys. I mean, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I was going to right say. Right from the moment that Ronald Koeman left uh, Messi and De Jong in Barcelona for rest, we knew there were going to be changes in the lineup, as well as obviously the bad news, which is the uh, long term injury to Gerard Piqué. Sergio Roberto will also be out for two months. We know that Ansu Fati is out also for four months. Mm -hmm. Sergio Busquets still recovering from injury. We have eight players out. For in, due to injury plus Messi and De Jong today. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's it's surprising. I was expecting lots of new faces in the lineup. Um, Messi and De Jong obviously didn't travel, so we're seeing a lot of new faces. Dest, uh, Junior, uh, Alenia getting a start. Yep. Very new, uh, deserved start for him. Braithwaite starting in that number nine role. It's going to be exciting. And of course, the varsity player, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar Mingueza. Mingueza yeah. See, yeah. Special day for him, definitely. I'm very excited to see what he can do tonight. And I was going to say, uh, Messi and De Jong left in Barcelona for rest, but other players that get rest today, Antoine Griezmann, Jordi Alba players who have lots of minutes, uh, and they'll be starting from the bench. And the good thing is we're going to see Many of the players uh, together on the pitch today in the starting lineup the first time for Braithwaite, Junior, Alenia, Des. But apart from that, actually, I was about to say something and now I forgot. Oh dear. <laughs> Oscar. No, no, no. No, about Oscar, no. It's the first time that our new signings of the summer are going to play together since the starting lineup. Oh, that's Trincao, interesting. Pedri, Pjanic, and Des. Oh, that's an oh, interesting I one. Oh, I didn't know that. That's Look an interesting at that. one. My, serving with the stats. <laughs> Anyways, um, we also have Julia here with us wearing her nice light blue Nike jacket. Yes. Julia, how are you doing? I'm very good. Very excited for today's game as well. And as you said, it's a very surprising starting 11. But that doesn't need to be a bad thing. I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be good to see these new faces playing together, as just my pointed out. So yes, very excited for that, and very excited for you guys to to keep sending your comments because we love to hear where you're watching us from, what you think about the game, what you think the result today will be. So keep sending in your comments because we'll be taking a look on them. There are plenty of them, so it's not always possible to read out loud all of them, but we try. So keep sending them in. Perfect. And Julia, I want to ask you, what is your prediction for guess the score? My prediction is 3-0 for Barca, 3-0 win. Um, because as I said, new faces, but I think it's going to be a good sign of that for me. So yeah, I'm pretty confident about today's clean sheet and about today's win. How about you? What Robert, you well, I'm going with a 4-1. I think we're going to score lots of goals. Hey, hey. you're conceding goals with Mark? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you scared wow, me. Wow, wow, wow. I, I think it's going to... Let's not forget that they were very good at they Camp Nou. Camp yes. And we a struggled a lot at home. And they scored a one goal. So... I, I hope they don't. I hope they don't score a goal, but I think they will. <laughs> but I think we're gonna score four goals, so that's good. <laughs> I'm gonna go with four-one. What are you gonna go with? Uh, Julia took my thought. I'm gonna go ah. with three-nil. I think that Tostegen wants and deserves a uh, clean sheet. Uh, he wants redemption after that small mistake that he made the other day at the uh, Wanda Metropolitano. <coughs> so, yep, uh, three-nil is my prediction. What about you, Mai? My prediction is two-nil for Barca. I think it's gonna it's not gonna be easy. Of course they have a lot of their key players back. And remember that the first game for Marc Andre Stegen this year was against Dynamo at Camp Nou oh, and it was true. amazing. So I think it's a clean sheet and two goals to have the three points just in the pocket. 
In the pocket and to the knockout round. Exactly. Exactly. Well, let's go back to Julie, who will give us the poll on FCBarcelona.com. Yes, guys, you can vote on that today. The poll is, will Barca qualify for the round of 16? Only two possible answers, yes or no. And also, we are now um, talking about our predictions, guys. You can also guess your prediction with us. You can guess the score with us. You just have to go to FCBarcelona.com and send in your prediction. And we'll <coughs> talk about the ones that got that get more votes in here on the screen. So go and send them in. Will Barca qualify for the round of 16 today? Yes, guys. Yes, yes 100%. Yes. Yes. I mean, even a draw. <laughs> Sorry? It's got to be a yes, right? It's a yes, yeah. Barcelona. It's a, oh, of course, yes, 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 <laughs> exactly. yes. It's always a yes. No, no, we're, yes. we're going to qualify and we need to do it as soon as possible. Exactly. Well, Clement Langley appeared in the press conference ahead of this match, so let's hear what he had to say. A veces encajamos goles en momentos importantes que tenemos que mejorar en ese aspecto porque sabemos que hay momentos que son peligrosos para los equipos y tenemos que mejorar en eso y sabemos que es el trabajo de, de todo el equipo, no solamente la defensa como en ataque, no es solamente los delanteros que, que tienen que meter goles y tenemos que mejorar todos en equipo este, estos aspectos para, para ser más fuerte, más contundente y, y no encajar goles. Those were Longley's comments ahead of this match. Very critical and yes. saying that there's things that need to improve and I mean, we saw on, on Saturday against Atletico Madrid, there's definitely little tweaks they can do to improve and hopefully score some goals tonight. Yeah, he mentioned, I think it was the key for that game. It's not about just the defensive job to be safe and do something good in front of Mark Ter Stegen. It's about scoring goals. Yeah. We miss that and the intensity and many things. I really like the self-criticism of Lenglet because I think we need to improve many different things from that match. Exactly. So it's good. Well, on a positive note, we're doing pretty well in the Champions League, exactly. to say the yes, least. Yes, exactly. exactly. Um, so let's take a look at the results of match day three. It was actually against Dynamo Kiev Dynamo back Kiev. home at Camp No. In a game, let's remind the fans that we could have won by plenty more goals Lots if not more. for yes. their 18-year-old goalkeeper, he Nishere. Insane. He was insanely <laughs> the amazing. The best one. The best was, one he, of he the was, night He for was them. the real man of the match. He yeah, really game. was. I mean, well, him and Tostegan. Yes. And I remember yes. the Peña Blagrana and Kiev, who will, we will speak to shortly, they were saying that it was a second game playing exactly. for him. Yeah, 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 it was, it was insane. insane. It was insane. So yeah, we beat uh, Dynamo Kiev 2-1 and Juve beat Fenerbahce 4-1 at the Fenerbahce Stadium. So that means that uh, Barca topped the group with nine points, Juve trail behind us with six points and Dynamo and Fenerbahce have one point each. Shall we have a look at the highlights of the game against Dynamo? Because we'll see some of the saves that we were talking about and uh, we'll see some of the faces that Barca won't be... <laughs> Well, there won't be a display for Barca today yeah. because yes. the, the lineup has changed drastically from uh, this was what three weeks ago? Three yeah. weeks ago, yeah. So exactly. yeah. Four international yes, breaks. Exactly. Let's have a look at those uh, highlights in that game that we beat uh, Dynamo Kiev 2 1 at the uh, Camp No. Of course, an empty Camp No due to COVID 19 reasons. Lionel Messi scored from the penalty spot. That was his third penalty goal in three games. And that happened very early in the game. It looked like good news, but from there, Barca. Just kept bumping into either the woodwork, like Pedri did here, almost scoring. That was very close. And then Neshiret, yeah. who put in the performance <laughs> of his life, denying <laughs> here Ansu Fati, who of course won't be in the lineup today because he's out for four months with a knee injury. Yeah, unfortunately. Lionel Messi out today. Look at that save. No, no, no. It to was Leo impressive. Messi. I impressive. remember impressive. Messi even looked at him after, like, what? PK was the score of Barca second, bueno, but of course si no Pique is another player who it's won't crazy be in the lineup today because things. he's also yeah. out with that knee injury he picked up at the Wanda Metropolitano. And from here to Stegen was busy. Yeah, 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 in the second half. Making some Stegen crucial saves. Busy. I mean, here on the one-on-one. -on -one, this was his first game after the long Exactly, it was, term it was his first yeah. game returning from injury. And here he could not prevent that goal from happening. It was uh, Siankov who scored. He's the top scorer. And he won't be in the lineup today for Dynamo Kiev. So uh, that's one thing less we have to worry about. <laughs> they did have, if you remember, uh, up to nine players out yes. due to COVID-19. All of them are back, but now they've got four others out. Yeah, they're so not fully recovered from all the yeah. COVID-19, well, duties. Fiasco. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And let's hope Messi can score in open play because he scored a penalty in, in 
the, in the last three games in the Champions League. He needs to score an open And uh, we want him to play, score an open But that goal. will not happen today, obviously, okay. because yeah. he's not in the... Um, next game. That Probably next game against Fedenvaros or Except at home against week. Juve. Who Those knows? will all be happening in December. We're nearly in December, guys. Yes. In December, I know. Yeah. It feels so weird. I feel like it's just gone so Christmas fast. Christmas is coming. You look a bit Christmassy today. Yes. Well, we're going to talk about that later. Yeah. Um, but let's take a look at the stats of Dynamo, Dynamo Kiev and Barca in their respective leagues. We're not doing too hot at the moment, unfortunately, in La Liga. No. Um, slipping points away. Yeah, um, I think the stats we're going to show are actually Champions League, the three games we've each played in the, in the Champions League. So if we can get those on screen, please. There they are. Three, yeah, exactly. They are Champions League uh, stats. Um, three games played each. Barca, all wins. For Dynamo Kiev, it's one draw and two defeats. Three goals scored for Dynamo, nine for Barca, two goals conceded by Barca and six by Dynamo Kiev. We have 15 shots per game, 64% of them on target. They have nine shots per game, 70% of them on target. So we did see at the Camp Nou that they can create danger easily. They're not a team that uh, shies away and, and against Barca, they were a threat on the counter-attack. No, for sure, and their transitions were really quick. And I remember we were, we were thinking that, oh, they're going to just come out and defend and look for the counterattack, yes. but they, they did the exact opposite. And they were playing, and they were playing in the midfield, and they are building plays. So let's see what they do tonight. But it's not a dynamo key that's just going to sit and look for the counterattack. And let's remember that that game, well, Robert mentioned that before, they, they were playing not with the key players or the players that normally play for a dynamo. And today, they, they will have all bad players again. They yeah. will have a, the normal goalkeeper they have during the season. Mm. Not this guy that was impressive and amazing last game. But that could be something dangerous for us. But at the same time, it's the surprising thing right now for Dynamo. It's they don't know how Barca is going to play with this players and so this different. lineup yeah. it's so different it's surprising yeah. it's complicated we'll see what happens yeah. let's take a look at the last match we played in kiev it was back in 2009 yep. and the goal scorers were chavi and, and leo, leo messi, messi. yeah that was the last game of the uh, champions league group stage we made it through of course to the round of 16 and dynamo kiev took the lead in that game after a little bit of a fumble there by victor valdez we'll see it more clearly in the replay oh there it is. And after a play with many touches, Avidal put it in for Xavi Hernandez, who scored in that game. I think it was 27 consecutive touches before that goal. A That's classic incredible. trademark Barca goal. And in the end, something that we've been missing as well this season. And what's that? A free kick by oh, Lionel Messi. Back incredible. when he didn't score that many of them. Yeah. But that was... A great one, definitely, coming off of the uh, crossbar. And that was the last time that Barca visited Kiev uh, 11 years ago. It's been a long time, and hopefully we can we can take all three points. I want, I want a convincing victory tonight. Yeah, Anyways, we're talking about Kiev. Our game is in Kiev, so I think it's the perfect time to connect to the Peña Blaugrana in Kiev and speak to Vova. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. How are you guys doing? All right, well, we do not have the Peña at the moment, um, but we were just talking about that 2-1 victory in 2009. Goals from Xavi and Leo no, Messi. Messi. And it's going to be interesting, like you said, because it's so different, this lineup. It's, it's so, so different. different with so many different faces. I mean, we've seen Braithwaite play, we've seen Best play, but for all of them to start together yeah, let's is going to be interesting. Exactly, that's the point. Like, Let's remember that Alenia and... Some of them, I, I can remember right now if it's by Braithway or who else, but just some of them have played in the Champions League and some minutes in La Liga. But we know they're not normally in the starting lineup, so it's something new, it's something good. And the good thing for Kuman tonight is they need to prove the coach they're in the right way, they're in shape, they need to, they want to be in the team. So, of course, at some point, the injuries are always bad, but it's another time for all the players to shine and to prove the coach that they're there and they're able to play for Barca. Exactly. Well, speaking of coaches, let's hear what our assistant coach, Alfred Schroeder, had to say ahead of this match. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, no, of course it's cold in any but it's not that the wind is, is okay, so it's okay. My first question is about the, the lineups. We can see a lot of changes. We know that uh, we have uh, so many uh, players injured, but uh, why is that lineup uh, with that uh, kind of players that uh, are not uh, playing the uh, same as the other players? What do you search with that lineup? 
No, of course, uh, we have some uh, changes that we, we need to do uh, with the injury players, and uh, that, that players get chances, like uh, Oscar, for example, today, and Alenia get chances now in midfield, uh, and uh, we, we give also uh, uh, the rest to Alba. So, and everybody knows that Leo and, uh, and Frankie are at home. So, uh, what we're searching that that we have a big squad. Everybody will get this minute this season, so it's very important also that they can play today. Uh, one of the names that the Toulouse are, are, are trying to, to see today in the pitch is Oscar Mingueza. You know that he's a guy who be start to play for Barca in, uh, when he was eight years old. Yeah. Uh, what did you see in that player to give uh, him that opportunity? No, he's training uh, also a few weeks with us. I think uh, even six weeks or also, something like that, and he's doing very well in training and. Uh, it's of course uh, it's a pity that uh, Gerard is injured, but then the next player should be there, and he, he is there, and he can show himself today. Uh, the question is about the Dynamo here. Uh, they show you, uh, they show in the Camp Nou what they can do. Uh, yeah. Instead, they have a lot of players that cannot play that game. What yeah. kind of uh, team do you expect for today? Different from the Camp Nou or the same? A little bit the same, I think. They have good, quick players up front, few players, uh, few good players back, and uh, so I think. Um, in, the, in transition, they, they are good, but that game was not our best game in defense. So uh, defensively, we have to be much better than uh, in Barcelona. And the last question is how important it is to uh, to win today and to be uh, final in the in the of course, round. Of course, that's very good, important. So this, this today is very important to get a good result and uh, that we on, stay on top of uh, of the group. And then we, if you win, we are qualified normally for the next round. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you. Those are the words of our assistant coach ahead of this match, saying it's very important to win. And one of the players we have in the lineup, it's his birthday tomorrow. He's turning 18 years old. Pedri, it's no, on November 25th. The youngster is growing. <laughs> it's so weird it that we've already so celebrated 18. two 18-year, uh, wow. 18th birthdays uh, this season. First time to Fati, now Pedri. Uh, Pedri doing insanely well, of course, uh, so this season. He started most of the games. Yes, and, uh, and he's impressed every time. And exactly. Um, he's, he's made an impact, um, and I think we've got a quality player in the making, but, I mean, he's already part of our present. So For sure. He's, he's, he's no, quality. I love to see him in the lineup whenever he comes on. Yeah, I think he always changes the dynamics of the game. But we all actually have exclusive content tomorrow on Barca TV Plus, Mai. Yeah, on Barca TV Plus, you were able to find all the origins from Pedri, we travel with all the team to Canarias and prepare all this special program of the regions of this player. And your exclusive content on Barca TV Plus and tomorrow, because of his birthday, we're going to show around the world where is all the regions from Pedri. I'm going to watch it's it for crazy. sure tomorrow. <laughs> his brother, his family. Uh, where he was born, yeah, all like the childhood. details, yeah. everything, everything is on that. I love and that. now is actually the time to uh, subscribe to Barca TV Plus because, I mean, the offer is, it's is amazing. Insane. It's insane. The offer is insane. <laughs> Black Friday, guys, go do your Black Friday shopping, but with Barca TV Plus, it's one ninety nine. It's insane. Only this, only only this week. For so a year. For an entire year. For an entire all year. the Barca so content. And exclusive content because yeah, it's yeah. not something you're going to find on social media or around the world or with other, I don't know, televisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just for us and exclusive with all the players and other teams. The yeah, women's no, no, team, basketball, Literally the everyone. best offer. You've got live content yeah. and uh, historic content, first team content, yeah. It's all Everything. Exactly. Well, you guys might be wondering what I'm wearing and what, well, they've seen your socks before. They've seen my socks. They've, they've, they've also seen, wait a minute, this. wait a minute. No, don't say your socks, say the good luck socks. The good luck socks. They are the good luck I'm socks. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to, I mean, yeah, I'm going to wear them over my... Over but because last night, I think you wore I'm gonna them... I'm going to wear them like this today. <laughs> no, I think so I need a bit of extra good luck You today. wore what them backwards because the crest was behind. Well, the, there it but is. now you're wearing them there properly. Okay. Look, the fashion is... I'm, I'm going to wear them over the uh, over the top of my trousers here. Oh. Over the... Nice. Yeah, you well, look, I'm look so perfect. We, we need wearing a bit of extra jacket, good luck. this jacket, and I really like it. It's really it's really comfy, and the quality is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has all the Barca colors. It feels really good. Touch it. Yeah. It's really warm. Um, anyways, Barca Foundation and Tom Brown have joined forces uh, to make a Barca Tom Brown collection. And these are the products of them. Um, and all the proceeds will go to fight COVID-19. So in the description box of our of this YouTube video, you can find the link for more information. You can check out all of the cool stuff they have. Yeah, um, and it's all for a good cause. All for a good cause, exactly. <laughs> 
It is. <laughs> Why? No, oh, you look oh, okay, so okay, okay. beautiful with that sock yeah, like no, that. I mean, I, All right, oh, guys. Oh, let's go to Aviv. Um, Aviv, hello. How are you? I want to get your thoughts on the lineup. Aviv, Hi, guys. Kiev. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Are you in Kiev with your jacket? Your, are you cold? Do you know what a heater is? Turn on the heater if you're right yeah. home. I'm I'm not in Kiev, but I would like to pretend I'm in Kiev, so that's why I have like a few extra layers on and this nice little hat. And also my central heating is not working at home, so it's oh, actually okay. really cool. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, I wanted to get your thoughts on the lineup. Yeah, so as you guys mentioned before, we have a lot of uh, new players in the squad. Uh, Kuman takes this game as an opportunity to rotate a bit, and I think it's perfectly legitimate. We have four players who make their first start today. So we have Mingeza, uh, we have Braithwaite, uh, Trincao, and Junior. So, I mean, no, uh, sorry, not Trincao, Elena. But yeah, I mean, for these guys, yeah, for these guys, it's great opportunity to, to play, to fight, to show that they're worthy of a place in the starting 11. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this game, actually. For sure, we are also looking forward to it. Um, Aviv, you always prepare a tweet for us, so let us know what it's all about tonight. Yeah, so it's also related to what I'm wearing, to the temperature today. So the tweet for today is, who is the coldest Barca player you know? Past or present? And this is also free for interpretation, so. I want to see you guys get creative. This cold player. Cold blooded. Wait, I'm going oh. for someone cold blooded. Oh, do you mean cold blooded? Like, can you give us some examples? Uh, no, I said no examples. I said coldest. All right. I said coldest. From there, you can take it. Coldest versus player. Mm. Mm. Okay, I have my answer, but I'm not gonna say. I want you guys to go first. <gasps> cold blooded. Okay. Uh, I'm just yeah. I'm gonna go with Testegen because eh? no, 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 no. Let me explain. It's like. He's so calm all the time. Uh, okay. He's like ice cold. Okay. I like it. My? I mean, I think it's the second too, right? I still, no, no, no. I still need to think because I was thinking of something different. Okay. Right. Sarah. I'm also going to think, when I thought of I thought cold blooded as well. Yeah. So I'm going to go with Dembele because he's like ice cold. I feel like yeah. <laughs> he's ice cold inside because he's just so, he doesn't care at all. Yeah. But I feel like Ansu Fati could also be that because he doesn't care about the pressure either. Yeah. They're both nice. so amazing. But Dembele, Ansu Fati for me. Valid, May? Mm, um, I'm still need Amazing. to think because I, I don't have I'm not thinking the same way. <laughs> well, we <laughs> are thinking we'll, come, we'll come back to her. You have to ask her again. Let her yes. think. Yes. Thank you. What uh, about I yours? will go with uh, Aydur Gudjonsson. Oh, ah, of course. Because yes. he's from Iceland. But yeah, but then again, I also have time to prepare my answer. So. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> All right. Quickly, Abi, <laughs> what is? Going out now? Yes. So yes, let us know at home. All right, Aviv, quickly, what is your prediction for tonight? A crazy prediction like always, or are you going for something simple? Mm, tough game, I think 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two, a draw. All Aviv, right, no. we'll see what happens, Aviv. Anyways, we'll talk And to we you. qualify, so that's good. Yeah, one that's good. point, that's all we need, and we'll qualify. All right, we'll talk to you later on, Aviv. Bye-bye, guys, have a good Bye. game. All right, let's go over the lineup one last time for the fans because we're about to start. And it's on our screens right now. And plenty of surprises in this lineup today with lots of players out. Uh, Mark Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. In defense, we've got Serginho Des, Mingueta, Langley, and Junior Firpo. In midfield, we have Pjanic and Alenia. On the right, Trincao. On the left, Pedri. And in the middle, behind the number nine, Martin Braithwaite is Felipe Coutinho. Let's go over Dynamo Kiev's uh, lineup. I'm going to have to read vale. this one out. <laughs> Ushan in goal. He's back after the uh, performance of Nesheret, the 18 year old. Uh, the Cup now. So the start, the usual starter is Bushan, so we need to see how good this guy is. Uh, Ketsiora, Zabarni, Mikolenko and Karabaev in uh, defense. The midfielder three with Shepelev, Bujalski and Harmash. And up front, Shaparenko, Bervic and Carlos de Pena. They do not have Tsigankov, who is their top scorer this season. Mark andre to Stegen. My is our She's captain yes! today. Yes! It's so oh, good yeah. to see him with the band. It's like... I, I dream with this day. It can happen one day to be our captain, the first captain. I dream with this day. And it's awesome to see him with the band like representing this club.
I love it. I love your enthusiasm. Amazing. I feel like this uh, Dynamo, Dynamo Keefe's coach is like a Vive right now at his own. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. He's, he's wearing the same attire. Yes. Literally. Only, the only difference is it doesn't have the Barca crest on it. Yes. But yeah, Mircea Lukicescu, uh, well, I mean, he's quite a celebrity. I mean, he's, he's always very outspoken. I remember back when he coached uh, Shakhtar Donetsk, uh, he yeah. always got into it with Messi and uh, Guardiola, now coaching uh, Dynamo Kiev. He actually that, by asked the way, for Messi's yeah. jersey yep. after uh, the, the game. game. And yeah. everyone was like, no. He's quite a character. He's quite a character. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about Oscar Munguez. Munguez. I, 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 I can never pronounce it correctly. He arrived to Barca when he was just eight years old, started at the Benjamin team, and now all the way to Barca B. Yep. It's crazy. He's I been at Barca for 14 years. 14 years. 14 insane. Years. He has literally the DNA of Barca. So yeah. I yeah. feel confident that he's he's starting. And I'm really glad that Kuman is trusting him. We, we heard what Alfred Truda had to say about him, that he's been training with the team for six weeks for now. Six and weeks uh, now. that uh, they've seen that he can he can play. They wouldn't He wouldn't be uh, on, on the pitch if if uh, Kuman and, uh, and his coaching staff didn't trust him. So, yeah. That's I mean, a, a good thing. opportunity for him. Champions League debut, I mean... It's exciting. I it's have exciting. A, a really good story, but I'm going to explain it during yeah, the game. Yeah, because the game about is about Oscar. to start. And Barca are playing in a kit that we like quite a lot today. Uh, the My black favorite kit. one. Yeah. Yes. Can't believe you're not wearing it. Um, Sorry, but this is... I mean, it's not... It's, you could have worn it underneath. Cool, you could have worn it underneath. But it's cold. You Give it to me, it because you're the only one who has the black one. I should have given it to you. I'm sorry. Okay, but well, that's <laughs> the one we're playing in today, the black kit. And uh, Barca will have the first possession. We're waiting for the referee. His name is uh, Matej Juk from Slovenia to blow the whistle for the game to get started. And I can't believe there's a Dynamo Kiev player uh, wearing a short sleeved uh, it's, kit. They're used to it. Like well, the Peña I mean, yeah, in Kiev saying, oh, five degrees, that's not cold at all. And we're over here like freezing our butts off when it's like 15 degrees. Mark well, Braithwaite is going to get the first touch of the game, and the game is underway there. Barca will be attacking towards the left-hand side of our screens. Dynamo playing in white, um, playing towards the right-hand side of our, uh, of our screens. It's a uh, black and white game today here. <laughs> black and white, you're right. So I guess that gets his first touch in I an official want, game. I just want Barca to come out and attack. I don't want them to sit back. I don't want them to just play with the possession. I want them third possession to be very effective, quick transitions. Effective transition. Well, like I this, mean, they're going perfect. straight forward here. This Junior Filpo exactly finding uh, Pedri on the left. Here is Pedri looking for options. He takes it to his right. Sets up Coutinho on the edge of the oh. box. Coutinho oh. tries to get in. The ball's taken Keep away, it. but it falls to Alenia. Here is Pedri. Pedri looking for a cross. No, it goes back to Carlos Alenia, who gets his first start of the season. Lovely little pass by Pjanic inside the box. Junior Firpo hustling for it. Pedri picks it up on the left. Bus are very active right from the beginning in the first. 60 seconds of the game. It's Here's like, Mingitha. It's like they heard us speaking. <laughs> very, very quick and strong start from Barca. And there is a Dynamo Kiev player who is down. I think that when Trincao went in for the challenge, he trod on him, to be honest. Yeah. Let's have a look and see if we can get a replay. Player still down oh, in clear signs of pain. Deep. That's Bujalski. Seems like Ouch. it's serious, right? Yeah, it looks serious. I'm so oh, we have a full-time result already. Uh, well, two full-time results. Sevilla oh, wow. and yeah. Chelsea have won in their groups. So. Uh, I'm glad for Sevilla. I think they're doing a really good season. They yeah. deserve it. Uh, okay, let's see here. Ah, it's just a graze. It's just, so Trincao goes in, tries to do a roulette, but with the foot that follows his right foot, he grazes the leg of Bujalski with the studs, and that has to be painful. For sure, for sure it does. Even just like a light touch is painful well, because of the those, cleats. Those, yeah, those studs are, yeah. Uh, and in the cold even more. Oh, yes. Anyway, no. uh, Maya, you said uh, you while the game is halted, you said you had a story about Mingitha. Yeah, I was yeah. hearing the radio that everything started with Jordi Font, which was the coach of the Benjamin for Barca. Back in 2006, Back in seven. 2006, or no, 2005. Okay. Because he went with uh, Jordi Font, it was with Jordi Puig, they went to a game here in Catalonia and they just arrived to this pitch and there were parents and people there watching the game and he was so surprised with one of midfielders mm -hmm. and he asked to someone next to him, say like, do you know what, who is that player? And he said, yeah, it's Oscar. Oscar what? Oscar Mingueza. And he said, why? And this guy responded, it's my son, but why are you asking? And Jordi Font explained to him, like, well, we work for Barca and we want him to go to the Ciudad Sportiva and what train for weeks mm. to see if he wants to be in La Masia. 
And he went there, he trained for two weeks. And, and he the never next went year, back. And he never went back. <laughs> exactly. Aww, and next, next year story. he was in the Benjamin and all the story begins. That's amazing. Yeah, and, super I nice. I mean, he's a player who's got plenty of experience. He's played for Barca B and he's won the uh, Youth League, the UEFA Youth League as well, yeah. but with Barca back in 2018. He was a starter in that game when Barca beat Chelsea. So uh, he's got plenty of experience. And today he gets his debut in the Champions League in a game in which Barca needs the points. I mean, it's not a uh, game in which everything no. is decided. No, no, no. It, the fact That's what I'm saying. The fact that Kuman and, and Alfred Schroeder believe so much in him is, is a great sign. Believing in the youth. And yeah. we're talking about players that have been at Barca for so, so long. They have the Barca DNA. They represent La Masia. So it's a great thing to see. And it's amazing to have coaches like Kuman that trust these guys and say, yeah. like, I don't care if I mean, you play in the yeah. youth league and you're 21 years old. He now you're going to play in this says, Champions is, League. I don't look at age. I no, look no, no. at how they perform. He's showing that there he actually is, is sliding what into it is. Uh, force a throw in. There we see Oscar. You're talking all about him, raving all about him. Yeah. Yeah. He I mean, obviously the options were very limited today because uh, Kuman decided to leave Frankie De Jong in Barcelona. Pique is out with the injury. Araujo's out with injury. Uh, Samuel Umtiti is out with injury. So I mean, it's a long list. It's yeah, a yeah. long list, and uh, yeah, I mean, you, you need to go to Barca B once uh, your options uh, yeah. are out in the first. Yeah, team. but we were talking about this before, and we said like probably Frankie De Jong is going to play as a centre yeah. back, and obviously Kuman has other options, but he decided to okay, let's give some rest to. The young and give it a chance to this guy from Amasia. Yeah, yeah, I think Which it was is the right decision. Yeah, and also he said that Samuel Umtiti will be back in two weeks. Hopefully, so hopefully hope that's what he said. That's yeah. the case. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Barca trying to keep the ball for long stretches in this game, and I like what I'm seeing. I mean, one of the concerns definitely in this game is to see how these players will perform together because they, they haven't played minutes together. I mean, no. uh, it's the first no. start for Alenia, first start for Junior, first start for Mingueza, obviously. Uh, Trincao gets his, I think it's only his second start of the season. Braithwaite. So, Braithwaite. I mean, mm. we're mixing a lot of players who haven't had a lot of playing time together, but at the moment, I like what I'm seeing from Barca. They're moving the ball around, dominating the game. Here is Serginho Dest. Back in the starting lineup, of course, due to the injury of Sergi Roberto. Coutinho brings oh. it down. Coutinho. He's inside the box. Coutinho, Coutinho takes it. it to his left. Can he finish? No. What a nice touch. It's though. a corner kick for Barca. As Coutinho tried to get away from two defenders, they slid in and cleared that away for a corner kick. First of the game for Barca. Coutinho looking very sharp there. It's so good to see him sharp. <laughs> Griezmann and Jordi Alba. Oh my God! And Jordi Alba having a conversation on the bench. The cross inside by uh, Felipe Coutinho, punched away by Bouchan. And Dynamo trying to mount the counter attack here. Barca transitioning well into defence. Here is Verbic. Come on, get on him. Player. It's not an offside. Playing mm. as a striker today for Dynamo. The shot across goal. No trouble there for Testigan. It will ah. go out for a. Um, okay, it was offside. Well, it was going to go out for a, for a throw-in on the other side, but uh, the referee called offside, I believe. Why did it take them so long? To, uh, it's not an offside. It's not, well, it's offside. not, it's not an offside. No. This, yeah. It's what it was called, but it's not an offside. It was Carlos de Pena. That was illegal. De Pena. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just, it's in my mind, always making jokes inside. That he made nice across de Pena. <laughs> 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 I love she just entertains no, no, herself. No, 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 she has, she has a, a, her own little show going. <laughs> anyway, um, Dynamo Kiev win the ball back and run forward. Ball played out to the right for Shepelev. He's going to chase it. No, he won't get to it, so he'll throw in for Barca. Let's go. It's a shame that Popov is not playing today, Robert. Recognize it. It's please. a shame for you. Popeye, sh Popi, Popov. 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 He was the centre back in the game they played at Barcelona, and uh, my enjoyed every time I pronounced his name. He's not in the lineup today. He's on the bench. It's it's not normally a starting lineup player for Dynamo, or it is. Seven minutes of the game. Sorry. Popov. Popov. I. I, I he was in the uh, lineup in, in yeah, but several other games. Is he a regular? Probably what you say, right? He's a regular. Of the, of the guys that it's no, due to COVID. I think he's a regular start. I don't know. I mean, I, he was out uh, with uh, COVID 19 since the international break. Oh, okay, and okay, maybe okay, okay. I, I, I think it was like he was questionable for today, so that's maybe the reason oh, why he's oh, good, uh, good. good block there Very by uh, Mingueza as Dynamo Kiev were trying to get the shot off. 
on the edge of the box. And now Mingueza communicating with uh, Pjanic yeah. and Dalenya in front of him. I like that. He's already taking on that role. Yeah. It was something that obviously he didn't see very uh, clearly. There was Verbic who was driving down the middle. The shot. Nice. Good, good. And good block there by Mingueza stretching his body. Yes. Getting in front of the shot. Give him confidence. Yeah. You know, moving forward, <laughs> he's not going to be scared to take a player on. At the moment, Alenia is the player who is dropping back to receive the ball from Testegen when the two centre halves nice, can't pick nice. it up. Oh, good oh. combination there between Dest and uh, Trincao. Trincao. Trincao back to Dest, who can put in the cross. No, he runs oh. out of space Yay. but keeps it in. Take now Trincao tries to get to the edge of the box, driving with his left. Ball taken away from him. Get it back. Come on. Not sure why Trincao, uh, where Dest didn't put the cross in there. No. Now a foul called on uh, Mingueza. Very involved, Mingueza. Very, very involved. Yeah, yeah. I like that. He has the same hairstyle as Griezmann. I love it. I'm very surprised that um, it doesn't look cold and wintry in this uh, stadium. I mean, we saw the footage of the last time that Barca played in Kiev and he looked kind of like, mm, like gray. gray and foggy yeah. and all that. That's what you're, you're used to in... Uh, it's probably all well, the lights Kuman. now. Exactly. <laughs> I think if his Kuman is like this, it's really cold. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Kuman's <laughs> well, wearing the full gear. So exactly. To <laughs> exactly. I think, um, it must be four or five degrees there only. Um, in Celsius, I don't know what that is in, uh, in your language. I think it's like <laughs> your language. I think it's, you say in my language. Yeah. I think it's like 40 something, 42 Fahrenheit. Okay, so I'm now, gonna I'm gonna check. So actually. now all the fans know. Let's see. Those who count in Celsius and those who count in Fahrenheit. It's complicated. <laughs> Nine minutes Five. and a half played, and at the moment, a uh, few opportunities. Now Dynamo Kiev win the ball back. Barca need to get reorganized quickly here. They play it out to the left, and that's Karabayev who's going to pick it up. Carlos de Pena in front of Dest. Good, Good Dest. Defensive move there by Serginho Dest to win the ball back. Trincao there to help him, and Dest is going to clear as we reach the 10th minute mark. Braithwaite brings it down, and Barca will be able to make a move forward as Alenia plays it out. To Felipe Coutinho on the left, he has the support of Junior Firpo, but decides to play inside with Pedri. Here is Pedri, hanging on to the ball. Good little turn by Pedri, the combination with uh, Coutinho, oh. who plays it beautifully no, inside no, 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 the no. box for Martin Braithwaite. Unfortunately, he was in between two Dynamo defenders, and they took the ball away from him. Sweet little pass there by Felipe Coutinho. Well defended by Dynamo, though. Yes. Barca still have the ball. Here is uh, Carlos Alenia. Alanya back to Langley. Barca look comfortable when they have the ball. Mingueza yeah. out wide to Serginho Dest, who tries to get away from De Pena. The ball looked like the ball bounced off of him, but uh, Barca were given the throw in there. And it seems like they're playing with pace today, like yeah, fast no, no. and were moving quickly. The ball and fairly quickly, yes. Yes. I agree. Here's Trincao playing the ball inside, looking for a Braithwaite. Oh. Cleared away by. Uh, Mikolenko. Oscar. I know Oscar's doing great. Yeah. Yeah. Recovering the ball quickly, blocking. All right, guys. Well, let's take this time to go over to Julia. I want to know what are the fans saying on Twitter right now. Well, we have many predictions. We have many comments about today's players. But first of all, let me just say that you won't be able to watch the game in here, guys. We're so sorry about that. We'll give you a play-by-play -play commentary. We'll keep you updated of everything that's going on on today's game. So stay in here because it's worth it. I promise. We're going to see now a few predictions. Um, the first one is from Juan TNQ. Barcelona win 4-2. Wesley Potiger, nil 3 for Barca. Joshua Caleb Segura Flores, 1-3. Another win for Barca. Just chilling, 5-1 for Barca. Omar Games, the same result. Siet Anad, Anas Ahmad. So many people today think that Barca oh, are going five, to score one. I like, five I like those, goals. Uh, yeah, predictions. it's a pretty nice result. We would love to see that. We would love that. Um, if you have also many comments, Saputra Faran, come on, start this match. I can't wait to watch it. It's already started. It's already started. It's 10 minutes in. So stay in here because we will tell you anything that you need to know. Anes Barrami, I hope Brightweight scores today. Tomás Elizondo, today wins the best team of the world. Let's go for this. Champions Forza Barca. And Norbeck Milok Barca is the best team in the world. And also, many people are speaking today about Yay. Ter Stegen being captain. Yep. We're very excited about that too. Our friends are excited as well. Sam Bath, Ter Stegen captain. <laughs> Matis Dorole, we love Ter Stegen. He's my idol. Juan Palenciano, the captain is Ter Stegen. Nima Sichani, it's great that Ter Stegen is a captain. So please, if you're excited about that as well as we are, as well as um, our friends are, keep sending in your comments, keep telling how you feel about Ter Stegen being captain today. And also, 
Tomorrow is Pedri's 18th birthday, so you might as well want to wish him happy birthday. Um, so make it, make sure it's original. Send in your comments, and um, we'll speak about that um, in a few minutes. Yeah, exactly. The big 18. For the big Pedri. 18. Yeah, they grow up so fast, don't they? These kids. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. These kids. kids. They grow up so fast. All right. Thank you, Julia, thank for you. that. By the way, five degrees Celsius is forty-one degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so you were you. you were I, was around, I was around. I forty-two or forty something. Look, I love how Coutinho is playing in this game. Really involved and looking very confident in every touch. Now Pedri plays it out wide to Serginho Des. The cross by right, Des bounces it. off of Karabayev, and First it's a quarter. corner kick for Barca. Second one of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Now on the other side, on the right-hand side, it's going to be taken by Miralem Pjanic. Did I say first? <laughs> I don't know where it's my mind. <laughs> it's the second one for second Barca? Second, yeah, second. second one. Okay. Up comes Langley, who had a couple of really good opportunities against Atletico Madrid. Yeah, which, uh, two headers. Yeah. Could for have gone in. Jano Black. Alenia is going to swing it in. Here comes the cross by Carlos oh, Alenia. One of the best short. of crosses. Very short. And it goes out for a throw in for Barca, as Carlos de Pena was the one who cleared away with the header. <laughs> How is Piani just wearing a T-shirt? <laughs> I mean a t-shirt, a jersey, like short sleeve. But short sleeve, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah no. But t-shirt. <laughs> Many Barca players have. He looks short very sleeve. cold in that close-up yeah, no, that it's we just got. Pjanic, Mingueza, and there are like two other players. Yeah, I don't know. With I mean, short sleeve. Yeah. Fortunately for them, it's like it's not raining or there's no snow or anything, yeah. so obviously that takes away oh, some of the cold. He was the switch run. by Coutinho looking for Serginho Dest, who tries to bring it no. down with his right foot, but that pass was too heavy. By Coutinho, 40 minutes and 37 seconds of the game. Still Dynamo Kiev, nil Barca nil, but Barca look very calm and composed. And uh, so far, I like what we're seeing from the team. We need the final touch to create opportunities, but I as I said earlier on, this group of players haven't had very much time uh, playing time together. Yeah. And they look like they're playing very naturally. Um, now I think Pjanic is going to see a yellow card for intercepting a Dynamo Kiev counter-attack. A foul there by Pjanic from behind, who does indeed see a yellow card. No, I think eventually the goals will come because, like you're, like you said, we're playing very comfortable. We're very composed. <laughs> we have a game plan. Everyone seems very, very confident on the ball. Pedri, um, he don't even Coutinho, touch it, like you said. Yeah, I don't know why he got a yellow card there. Um, but in the build-up, it's very nice too. I think, like you said, it's just the final touch, and eventually that'll come too. It's. We don't have the spell on us anymore because we we scored five goals against Betis and that broke the spell. Oh, yeah, exactly. So no more spells. Plus we have so the good luck come. socks today. Exactly, and the good yeah. luck jacket. Well, I, I think the, the key today... Shot? There they are, good luck socks. ...is at least Varsa, I feel like they're controlling the game and the way they won. And they're also in... Their intensity is different, yeah. Much yeah, better than, than on Saturday. Definitely, yes. definitely. Braithwaite was chasing there, going to uh, put pressure on the <laughs> Dynamo... Uh, Defense, they've managed to move forward. Good defending so far by Barca, taking care of situations. And at the moment, Barca don't look as vulnerable as we did at Camp Nou on the counter-attack. We're transitioning into defense a little bit better so far in these first 60 minutes of the game. Yeah, and I feel like Dynamo Key really haven't played their game. Um, I feel like at Camp Nou, they played better than how they're playing right now. We played really well in the first 15 minutes, if you remember, of the yes. uh, Camp Nou game. We had like yeah, four or five very the, good the opportunities, and then game, the game yeah. slowed down, and that's when Dynamo yeah. started to feel a little bit more comfortable. We were still playing in their half, yeah, but, but every time we made a ball, mistake... Within seconds, yeah. they're in our half. We actually, we scored the first goal in the five minutes. In the fifth minute, yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So in the end, it's like... And we could have scored we, more. Yeah. I mean, in a normal game, Barca with would a, have been with up a normal three nil <laughs> with a normal goalkeeper and yeah. with Pedri's shot not hitting the crossbar instead of exactly. it going in. Uh, we would have been three nil up in mm -hmm. the fifteenth minute and it would have been game over. Is that goalkeeper on the bench tonight? No, I think he's no. out he's because of COVID nineteen. I think it's a shame for uh, the coach. I was. I know. I was. He's the someone told one. me this yesterday that uh, Kiev is one of the uh, cities with the highest rate of uh, COVID nineteen cases right now. Wow, it's uh, been wow. kind of chaos there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, crazy, this pandemic all over the world. I know, continuing. Let's hope we can... And it's, in, I mean, don't know when fans will be allowed to be in the stadiums again, but... Uh, I, feel like 
Everything. I mean, we, we don't know when all. anything. Well, like yeah, we can no, go we out, have dinner, be together, hug each other. <laughs> Everything's different now. It's Another... going to be an unusual Christmas, which will have football, by the way. Yeah. For the f well, I mean, not on not the actual on the day, but not on, on the, the actual Christmas weekend, but we normally have at least a week, uh, a one week Holiday. break. Yeah. And uh, oh no, week and a half, a couple of weeks normally. We so normally break early. up like uh, be before the no, uh, more or less on the twentieth, and come yeah. back uh, in the new year. This year we've got football all throughout the break. Yeah. It's going to be fun though. Yep. Football is always fun, whether it's Christmas time. Also going to Valladolid on the twenty second, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Wait a minute, because Dynamo Kiev are putting a cross inside oh, the oh, box. This oh. could be a dangerous opportunity. Barca mm. defending with lots of bodies here. The volley into the hands of Stegen. Okay. All right. Okay. We need There's to a be moment there. of uncertainty there with a uh, with loose ball mm -hmm. inside the box, and that made me uh, oh, feel a bit on edge there. But Barca had lots of bodies in front of the ball. Then the eventual volley went straight into the hands of Stegen. So no, no worries there for Barca. Long ball played by uh, Mingitha. Oh, Braithwaite brings it down on his chest, makes a run forward. He's got Pedri to the left, Here. but the ball goes to Junior Firpo. Firpo, one touch to Coutinho. Sorry, it wasn't Pedri. Here is Coutinho. Oh. Alenia. Now Pjanic. Pjanic wants the run. Oh, now Serginho Des, who's inside the box. Des back to Trincao, who tries to take it to his left. The cross by uh. Trincao, looking for Pedri. Cleared away by the Dynamo defense. Alenia picks it up. Oh, lovely little nutmeg oh. by Coutinho, who tried to get away. The ball was taken away from him in the end, but Barca regained possession. Now that Mingueza did that, I remember that Jordi Font said that one of the virtues of the best thing of Mingueza is his game vision. His, mm. uh, the, the way he, he can he, play from behind. Everything, yeah. everything. Distribution. Exactly. Oh Lovely my little gosh. touch by Pedri. He's got Pedri. Junior Firpo on the left. The cross by Junior Firpo looking for Coutinho in the middle. Ball loose up in the air and it's cleared away for a throw in for Barca on the right hand side. We've seen so many pieces of skill right now yeah. in the past like five minutes. Little nutmegs, From Coutinho, little, uh, Pedri, by Coutinho, Pedri, Pedri yeah. with that amazing through ball yeah. to Dest. There is Serginho Dest. He has the help of. Uh, Pedri, who plays it back to Langley. Langley inside to oh. Coutinho, who couldn't pick it up. He was in a good position there. The, Not surrounded yeah, by defenders. Recovered. Good nice. defending by Pedri. Pedri, Love I, it. I thought it was Alenia, no? No, 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 it's Pedri. Oh, okay. But with Alenia, yes. Yeah, no, no, I mean, well, it was a, it, it was a group effort. There yeah, exactly. To win the ball back. And Barca keeping Dynamo close to their box right now. Here is Serginho Dest. Let's see if we can score an opener. The cross by Dest. Bounced off of the legs of Karabayev. And the ball was cleared away by the defense, but Barca regained it again. Here is Mingueza. Mingueza back to Langley. Langley inside oh, to Alenia. Barca relieved themselves from the pressure. And managed to stay in Dynamo's half. Now Dest was dispossessed. Interception by Mingueza. Look how Pjanic. fast we get the ball back. Amazing, amazing. Great Not effort by the yeah, 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 I think yeah. Alenia is being fouled now. Alenia definitely fouled there. The referee blew the whistle. Not even five seconds. I think it was in three seconds we get the ball back. Maybe the five second rule is back. Yeah. <laughs> we the need intensity it. right now is terrific. 21 minutes played. Still nil nil, but Barca looking very good here in Kiev. Well, or there in Kiev. We're not in Kiev. <laughs> uh, Dest, Braithwaite, Trincao on the right. Trincao plays inside with uh, Pedri. Pedri was looking to give it back, but he didn't see a clear passing line, so Pedri. he plays it back to Alenia. Lovely pass by Alenia to Junior Firpo. Junior! Mm, he hesitated. It. He hesitated why there. did you hesitate? He hesitated there because, you know why? He knew the pass was going to Coutinho, and he took the ball away from Coutinho, basically. Yeah. Then he had a moment of hesitation, and that gave Dynamo Kiev's ah, defence a chance to... <laughs> Recover and regather. Corner kick anyway on the uh, right hand side. Going to be taken by Felipe Coutinho. Here comes the cross at the far post. Martin Braithwaite goes up, and there's a Barca player who went down. Maybe took an elbow to the head. I don't know. Who is Strong it? Lay, who's down. He's got both his hands on his head. Let's see what happened there. Mm, no, not enough to call a penalty. It's just. A player who runs into him, but... But run in a really weird way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but I mean, 
I don't think he prevented Langley from jumping up no. or anything. No, no, it's no, just no. a bit of a bump and Langley got hit in the head. Well. OK, so another corner kick for Barca on the other side. Langley not happy about the no call. Referee blows the whistle and now Pjanic will cross it inside looking for the header. Coutinho. I think it was Mingueza who headed it out. No, Coutinho. Coutinho. No, no. Well, Mingueza oh, headed it out corner. and Coutinho yeah. was picking it up yeah, yeah, yeah. on the edge of the box. 23rd minute, Barca playing from their own half. Here is Pedri. Barca reorganizing themselves and playing comfortably at the moment, even though Dynamo do try to put a little bit of pressure on them. No, and we're totally surpassing their pressure, though. Yep. We're playing well in, in their own in their half. Lots of build-up. They're linking very well. They're reading each other. I really like that Pjanic through ball. I think we need to do more of that, find those little those spaces. Um, because it's sometimes when you have so many players in the box, the best way to break that is through those little, those little, those through balls to find those little spaces. Before we go to Julia, by the way, uh, Fenning Varos taking the lead against uh, Juventus at Whoa, the Juventus yeah, Stadium. Right. So, oh, interesting. A bit of a surprise there. At home too. Very interesting. That's wow. definitely interesting a good and good result for us. For it's good for us. Good, good for us. For us. Exactly. Um, well, let's now go to Julia, who will let us know the topic on the Claire Wall. Yes, and I think our friends are going to love this one. Um, the topic of the day is Gerard Pique and Sergio Roberto are both sidelined due to injury. Could I send them a message of support? You guys have been doing this this week. This is the first comment from Mahat in Pakistan. Heal well, guys, and come back stronger than ever. Know that you are the heart of Barca and always will be. Very nice one. Zian from China, stay, stay strong, Gerard and Sergi. I hope you guys have a speedy recovery and hope that you can return to the pitch soon. Oriol from Barcelona, get well soon, guys. This is a long season and we'll need you at your best when you're back. Sophia in London, I'm sending positive vibes to both of you, wishing you guys speedy recoveries. And the last comment from Said in Canada, we'll miss you both so much. Hoping for quick recovery so we can enjoy your talent and leadership on the pitch. So you can keep sending in your comments in fcbarcelona.com and also on the live chat if you want to wish Sergio Roberto and Piqué a speedy recovery. They're both out for injury. You can do that. Send in your comments and we will comment that in here. I think we all agree with the fans. We there. do. We do. It's a shame that they're out, but um, we just have to, ho to hope that they will come back stronger and that they will be here soon, exactly. as soon as possible. Hopefully, Hopefully. as soon as possible, because we need them. Um, well, let's get back to the game now. Thank you, Julia, well, for that, as always. And Barca moving the ball around in Dynamo's half now. The pass by Mingueza wasn't uh, great. I had to go and say it, didn't I? That Barca were moving the ball around well. And then jinxed it. Did yeah, you? I jinxed it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, no, I, li I like it. I mean, we look comfortable moving the ball around. It is true that Barca, um, Dynamo gather lots of players inside their box and just on the outside as well. So they make it hard to actually create opportunities, but I mean, one lucky break and that could hey, be it. Hey, oh, hey. a foul now on uh, Trincao. I think that should be a yellow card. Mm -hmm. Maya agrees. We're gonna see that yellow card. Shepelev definitely tripped Trincao as he was getting away. He was looking for the knees and not the ball. Maybe the yellow card wasn't issued. No? It's not a, well, we haven't seen the graphic for it. Anyway, Barca will have an opportunity to put the ball inside the box, Felipe Coutinho <laughs> is going <laughs> to make the cross him. there. He's messing no, now with the uh, with Shepelev, <laughs> who's in front. Oh no, Bialski, sorry, who's in front of him. But eventually, he goes to form a uh, one-man wall. And now Coutinho will put the cross in, coming in from the right, looking for a header the inside cross. the box. Mingueza was uh, up there. Oh, oh, Yanis tries to get it back inside the box after the clearance, and Pedri nice. picks it up from afar. Cool. Petr playing that Busquets role right now. Yes, exactly. <gasps> no, we're now, even number 16. Pjanic was looking for a beautiful pass inside Coutinho. the cross. The shot by oh. Coutinho looking for the curler. It went wide. First chance for Barca, I believe. Yes, it feels like it, it should be our fifth or something because we're creating so much, but we never get the shot on target. That's one of the things that I miss the most when Coutinho Ooh. is out. His shots from outside the box. Bah, that yeah, was closer yeah. than it looked live. Oh, it, or maybe not. Or maybe. It whips in, kind of. And you're wearing glasses, man? No, from behind <laughs> it looked closer than, than it did from the frontal replay. It was quite far out. <laughs> it didn't quite get the, the curl, the, effect, the whip yes. that uh, Coutinho was looking for. 
But, but it, it's it's amazing to have him doing that because he loves to shoot from outside the box, and we love to that. We love yeah, that yeah, as yeah. well. <laughs> I, I'm seeing Coutinho very involved today, and he looks very yeah. sharp, and he looks dangerous every time that he uh, gets a touch. It seems like he's kind of the leader. On yeah, the I also get that. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's like the leader, like well. follow me. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. All of them are like playing like with him. Like all the little kids, follow, follow the leader. <laughs> <laughs> pass and move, pass and move. Now Coutinho. Nice, Pedri. Combining with uh, Pedri. Pedri plays it out wide to Serginho Des. I think Barca deserve a goal by now. Yeah, by now. <laughs> well, I, I mean. Yeah, no, you're right. Also, Dynamo have barely had a sniff of the ball, I think. Mm -hmm. I also would love to know the average age of our, of our team right oh. now on this pitch. Uh, that's an interesting one. You want one. me to do it for you? Yeah, Mike, go for yeah, it. Yeah, I would. Let's guess. Let's guess first. Guess. Okay. okay. Guess. Let's guess. guess. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm gonna because obviously, who are the veterans on the field today? It must be Ter Stegen and Coutinho, the yeah. veteran players. <laughs> They're not mm -hmm. even. What? Well, no. I think we must be. Ter like, Stegen we, is 28. Well, yeah, no, obviously, but he's not. No, he's, he's not. But he's not Pedri. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. oh, I hope so. <laughs> he's that young. I'm gonna say 23. 23. Somewhere around 23. I'm gonna say Robert 23. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna say, what was 22. that? 22.5. I coughed. Sorry. Am I not? 22.5. Well. Okay. See, I, might, I might have gone. Our oh, Pjanic is on the field as well. He'll, yeah, he'll that's bring the up the one average. Thing that would bring it up. I'm going so to say. I kind of feel like it's 24, but whatever. Yeah. Can you change your mind to 24? Okay, so mine's 24. Because we're just talking about. Uh, wait a minute. The fans might have yeah. gotten lost by now. Okay. Uh, we're talking about what we think the average age of Barca's lineup today is. I think 23. Sarah thinks 24. I'm going to say 23.5. That, that <sighs> is an average. It yeah. could be. Okay. Or it's not going to be 25 for sure. Okay, all right. No, no, and go I don't want to say okay, 24. Well, now, now someone needs to do the calculus there now. And, um, it should be. Me? All right. Yeah, or here. You, okay. you go for it. And maybe the fans can send in their predictions as well. What do you think the All average yours. age is of our team today? It must be quite young because we have uh, Dest in the lineup. We have Mingueza, Alenia. We have Pedri, Pedri. who's going to turn 18 tomorrow. Junior Firpo is still quite young as yeah. well. Trincao. Did you already say Trincao? Uh, so, oh, I didn't say Trincao. Trincao is also very young. Half the team is like, teen or like teenagers. Um, Here is Alenia playing out wide to Junior Firpo. Oh, keep it. Pjanic. Nice. Junior oh. Firpo. They're all so confident. Junior Firpo tries to get inside the box, making a run there. He was dispossessed just as he was making his way recover. inside the box. And Dynamo recover the ball. And uh, Sarah, yes. the Barca fans will oh. be able to see the highlights of this game after the game. Uh, well, after the game, when once the referee blows the uh, final whistle, and they can do that on Barca TV Plus, and as we've got on our screens right now, there's a very special offer going on this week. Yes, a very, very special offer indeed. It's Black Friday. This week is Black Friday. We've got to celebrate that with an amazing offer. One ninety nine for the entire year of Barca TV Plus content. I promise you guys, it's worth it. One ninety nine for the amazing content that you have on Done. Barca TV Plus. I would do it. Without and there's lots coming up. There's lots coming up. Yes. There, I, I know for a fact there's, yeah, there's lots of cool lots documentaries. Lots of new uh, content coming up soon. We can't unveil what it is, but. Yes. I got my roommates to get Barca TV Plus, and now we watch it in the living room. We have it on our oh, TV. Nice. <laughs> We're always watching documentaries. It's really cool. Let All me right. know which ones you watch. We can, uh, we can I talk love about it. Should we uh, say Pedri is. 17 or 18? 17. No, 18. Well, 17. 17. Oh, sorry, 17. Okay. 17. Today's 17. Yeah, but what time was he born? That doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It's tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, but what if he was born at like 12 o'clock? He's nah. still 17. He's yeah, still 17. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. Wait, because me, I, I need to find out some ages. You need to yeah, yeah, okay. go for it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You, you, you go and look I for it. I know some of them, and Sarah not and all of them. Sarah and I will talk them. in the meanwhile. Yes. Hopefully we'll celebrate a goal while Maya's looking for ages. Dembu's on the bench. Dembu's is on the bench. Griezmann is on the bench. Let's we remind the fans, of course, that uh, several players are out. Unfortunately, most of them due to injury. That's the case of Gerard Pique, who will be out, as we know, for at least four months with the knee injury he picked up at the Wanda Metropolitano. Sergio Roberto for two months. Also at the Wanda Metropolitano, he got injured in the last minute in that uh, shot. Yeah, in that long shot. Uh, very frustrating. Of course, we knew that Ansu Fati is uh, out due to injury. So is Busquets. Uh, Busquets Samuel Umtiti and Araujo. Soon. 
And uh, Messi and De Jong were left in Barcelona due to rest, so that's why you will not be seeing them today I, on the field. I think it's necessary that Messi was given rest. I mean, let's not forget he went all, flew all the way to Argentina for during the international break. We're talking about 15-hour flights. Um, yeah, no, no, Cohen made reference back, to it. Total 30 hours. Oh, wait a minute, so. chance here for Dynamo Kiev and oh, they'll not be happy with themselves there. Bujalski misfired as he was alone inside the box, Take trying to down. connect with a cross, and now Barca have a chance in transition. Here is Pedri, he's got Trincao to the right. Here goes Trincao, looking oh. for an opening on the edge of the box. Here's Pjanic now, he goes to the right for Pedri. Pedri inside, Trincao tries to turn around, and that oh. has to be a penalty. He, what? They, they just fell on him. What? They just fell on him. That has to be a penalty. It has to be reviewed. World. Oh, he's going he's gonna... to... I mean, so, so now VAR? the referee's halting he's the game. VAR. Okay, so Pedri played it inside. Trincao turned around. They fall the, on they him. They fall he on fall, him. He fell on him. They both. No, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe now with this replay, I'm not from so this sure. Angle, from this yeah, angle, I'm but not from so the sure. Other but angle, it like they a kind of fell penalty. on him. But okay, yeah, the referee is now. It's being checked. Here. No, they're not going to give it. They're not going to give Difficult. it. Okay. It, in live, it looked like they fell on him. They did. I did. And Final result. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, okay, so, so let's remind the fans one more time exactly, what we're doing. Exactly. We're trying to figure out the average age of the lineup right now, Barca versus Dynamo Kiev, because there's a lot of youngsters on the pitch. So, Robert's guess was 23, 23. mine was 24, and Mai's is 23.5. And the final answer she's is... She's happy, so she's right. <laughs> 24. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, you're you know what I forgot? That Braithwaite was on the field and yes. that uh, he would also put the average I age up. I thought of Pjanic, so I brought it down to 24. No, and Lenglet and Junior, they're oh. 25 and 24. Okay. <laughs> so it's 24? Well, we were all close. Junior. junior. We were all close. I'm yeah, sure we were really close, close actually. Like, 24 yes. is a very young average age. Yes. Trincao, Dest, oh, inside, looking for Braithwaite. The ball rolls past him and Dynamo clear away for a throw in on the left hand side. 35 minutes played, we've got 10 minutes remaining in this first half. Junior Firpo will take that um, throw in. Langley. Langley under pressure here. I think he was fouled. The referee thinks so too. He plays it quickly to Pjanic. And Pjanic with Alenia in the middle. I really like what we're seeing from Alenia as well today. Very involved sure. in distribution, looking very sure of himself. I want to know what his passing accuracy is. I feel like he hasn't made any mistake up until now. We'll check it out. Oh, yes. the, uh, the shot Ooh. into yeah. the hands of Bouchan. I think that was, was it Trincao. Yeah, it was Trincao. Nice. Trincao nice. still looking for his first goal of the season. Yeah. I really wanted to score. I hope he does tonight. I hope he finds the back of the net tonight. And it was Alenia who found him. Yes. I hope, I hope lots of goals are scored tonight. My prediction was 4-1. Four, four four to one. So I'm hoping for many goals. But not a clean sheet. Anyways, um, let's go to Julia, who let us know what they, the fans are saying on the live chat. Yes, first of all, we asked our fans to say happy birthday to Pedri, who's going to be 18 years old tomorrow. We have many comments about that. The first one is from Josiah Rajak. Feliz cumpleaños, Pedri, the future face of Barca. Tennyson Matthew, happy early birthday, Pedri. Dario Palamet and Alan Hernandez, happy birthday. Um, Marek Birkus, happy birthday to Pedri. He will have a bright future and learning by doing. Hey, Pedri, happy birthday, Ooh. bro. And also today, Something weird has happened because, you know, Barca warms our hearts in many different ways and today our live chat has become a love chat. Even though it's not, <laughs> even though it's not 14th <laughs> of February, um, we have the comments. Jamal Kabir, I need a girlfriend. Hilarious. Is there any girl in there here in the chat? Fabian Chacon, who wants to be my girlfriend? So guys, if you're looking for a girlfriend or a boyfriend, tender. maybe a much tender, maybe our live chat is the way <laughs> to do that. Oh, so. no, definitely, I mean... Look at that. Just said, you should have said that definitely. <laughs> this definitely come to you. <laughs> why, so, am I, why am I the focus of this romantic section right I now? Loved, I love the anyway, music. You but are. No, but I mean, we, we want a love story to happen we on our do. live chat. And then 
people can write in and tell yeah, us about that story. The thing is that to make it easier, I think that everyone who is single on the live chat should write an S on the live chat. So we know you guys are single and if you see each other pictures or if there's something interesting <laughs> about this that person, hilarious. maybe you'll we'll get to know each other and maybe you'll find love here. I mean, we would love to do that. So from now on until the game um, ends, until the final whistle, we'll be keeping an eye on these comments, on these love comments. So. I remind you guys, if you're looking for a girlfriend or a boyfriend, today is the day. He will make it easier for you. You have to send an S on the live chat, meaning you're single. And I don't know, maybe today you'll go to bed without being single. Maybe today is a very special day for you and for us because it will make that possible. So send in your comments, guys. That's all I have I to love say. It. <laughs> I love it. I love this dramatic shift. You are and ready so, to mingle. Yeah. You know what to do, guys. <laughs> <gasps> Just before Christmas. Just before Christmas. You gotta find your holiday buddy. Anyways, Juliet, thank you very much. Thank for you. That. I was back. not expecting that. I hope I'll be back with good news. I'll tell you about it in a few no, minutes. No, no. If if if, <laughs> if, um, we, if someone finds love on the live chat, we want to know. We want to know. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm going to bed pretty happy if someone finds love in here. You'll today. be behind it. Yeah. You'll be the cupid. I know. I know. And I'll be pretty. Uh, well, I can. I don't have the words to express that. <laughs> You'll be speechless. <laughs> yeah. I will. I'll be speechless. I'm speechless now. I'll be even more speechless in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Julia. Thank you. It'd be quite cool as well if it was people from different countries who yeah. get to know each other and then, yeah, movie-like. We could bring them on the show and do connections with yeah. them. How did your love start? Anyways, guys, let's get back to the game because there's only about five minutes before um, we go to halftime. And, and Basel I won go. the ball back. And they've won the ball back again close to uh, Dynamo's uh, box. Good pressure. Fiedrinkau has been fouled again by Garmash. And it's right on the corner of the uh, right-hand side of the box. So, Barca will have another chance to swing it in. Trincao constantly looking yeah. to dribble and and show off his skills. I love fouled it. quite a lot in this game. Coutinho and Pjanic standing uh, next to the ball there. Langley having a conversation there with one of Dynamo's players inside the box. Mingueza, Braithwaite, Langley, Junior. Trincao as well inside the box. I think Pjanic will be the player in charge of swinging it in. <laughs> Referee blows the whistle. Here comes the cross by Miralem. Pjanic! Trincao went up for it, headed away by the Dynamo defence. Pedri picks it up for Barca and plays it all the way back to Mark andre Ter Stegen, who hasn't been very busy so far. That's a good sign though, right, Mai? If Ter Stegen is not doing much, that means we're, we're playing well. <laughs> No, and that means the other lines are doing their job. So that's always good. I was about to say, like, can you imagine if Mingueza can score like a header in oh, the corner wow, or something like that? That's the dream like debut. That's the dream debut. In a Champions League match. We have a centre back so. score in the game at Cap No, Gerard Pique. So yes, maybe his replacement yeah. today could, could score as well. Never say never. Never say never. Never say never. Coutinho, test. Coutinho with uh, Trincao, Barca trying to move forward. Coutinho with the switch over to the left-hand side. Junior, Junior has to uh, sprint to get there. He puts the cross inside, headed away. But Barca win it back on the edge. Here is Alagna. Five minutes remaining, or almost four, in this first half. I don't think there'll be any added time because there wasn't the game much. Hasn't that really been potential penalty check yeah, was very maybe one short. Minute, maybe one minute. Yeah, true. VAR uh, check, but it wasn't a very long check. No. Ball protected there by uh, Kedziora, and it rolls out for a goal kick. Ronald Koeman observing from uh, from the bench. I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure he won't be happy that Barca aren't creating that many goal-scoring opportunities, but I like what we're seeing from Barca. Um, we've got the ball. We're, def we're putting some good pressure on them. We're not letting them uh, go out in transition. We're recovering the ball very quickly. I don't know. I mean... So far, for me, positive signs from the team. Yeah, I think, I think it's first about playing well, and eventually the goals will come. Um, linking up well, reading each other well, creating danger. Um, we see on our screens right now 297 passes, 70% possession. That all is going to combine at the end of the day to a goal. So I'm not that worried right now either about no, no. If we go into halftime with a nil-nil, it feels like every all, time we get worried. close to the box, th there could be an opportunity to yeah. to get a shot off and score. It hasn't I just all that feel much, but that we're missing something inside the box, mm -hmm. and we we need to s 
stop looking for the passes? Or? Not the passes, all these like the, air the, plays, because it, we know how to I play agree. with the feet. So it's better to be comfortable and do the crosses or mm -hmm. get into There's inside the box. Gao, sorry, trying to get inside the box. He has Dest to his right. Dest. Dest contemplating his options there and passes back to Trin Gao, who looks for Pedri on the edge of the box. Interception by the uh, Dynamo defense. Coutinho playing with fire there, but manages to keep the ball. Now Langley under pressure, feeds it out to the right. No, but my, the left, sorry. I completely agree with you. I think that I feel a lot of the a lot of the aerial um, shots are coming from from Des. He's constantly wanting to cross the ball, and Barca are, they like to play with their feet. So let's keep the ball yeah. off the ground, just like you said. I totally agree. Yeah. And let's just remind the fans another time that on our screens right now we have. Barca Black Friday, Barca TV Plus, one ninety nine only this week, and Mike can tell you guys how amazing Barca TV Plus is because she actually works for for that platform. Well, she's featured and in one of the most amazing. exclusive contents we've yes. had in the last few days, with which is the face to face with Mark Andre Stegen. I was so surprised the day that our boss Jordi told me to, well, me and Amy, like, hey, Mark is coming to the studios and so we're going casual. to see this, like, <laughs> yeah, like normal, you know? And obviously we're like, what? And it's not just that, it's not just the interviews. It's a lot of special programs we're gonna have, not every day, because I know people can be worried about all the content that they, they feel like probably at some point we're going to stop sharing things or producing things, but this is unstoppable. Oh, no, no, like no, we're doing serious with the players, with other teams, with the women's team. Everyone mm -hmm. is doing something great and it's all exclusive. So I, I can say nothing else, yeah. but just to, <laughs> it's, it's, this is your week. You need to pay that because- 199, it's nothing. It's nothing, it's nothing. It's nothing. For a year, it's nothing. It's cheaper question. than a sandwich. It is. What is your <laughs> What is your favorite content on Barca TV Plus? Well, she's gonna say the. I mean, you, I don't know if you know. I don't know if you know, but they they had to mop the uh, the studio after the face to face with the Stegen because Mike was just drooling. That's not nice. That's not nice. That's not nice. No, no, no. That's but, not. But we did touch the couch. We're not gonna yeah. lie. <laughs> That day, it was not just me. Everyone here Everyone was, was touching, touching the couch, the couch like, Mark was, he was here. He's just a delightful guy. He is delightful. I was so surprised because uh, it's what I said on the picture. Everyone told me, like people who works for the Barca first team, people from the club, people who have been working here for years, they told me, like, Mark is a top player and a top person. You're going to love him because he's so nice with everyone. Mm -hmm. And we were like, okay, let's see. And actually... All of the people that were working here were so surprised. Wait a minute, sorry, Maya, I have to interrupt because Barca were going out of transition, a long touch there by oh, Pedri, man. and he is dispossessed. Oh. And he is frustrated with himself right now because he knew it was a good opportunity for Barca. One minute added in this first half. Barca managed to recover the ball inside pass by Alanyata. Coutinho, Coutinho is going to, well, hint a shot with his left. He didn't take it in the end, and he decided to pass back to Pjanic. Now Alanya, Coutinho. Barca playing in Dynamo's half. 30 seconds remaining in this first half. And how cool would it be if we managed to score? Langley. Alanya. Return by Alanya. In the center circle is Mingueza. Now Coutinho makes himself available. Barca trying to move forward. Oh, the pass by Coutinho to uh, Trincao wasn't all that great. And that gives Dynamo a chance in transition. Depena looking for options in the middle to stick and has to clear. Oh my God. And it'll go out for a uh, throw in. That's Tough the end time. of the uh, first half. I was, I was uh, having a deja vu of Saturday. Yeah, no, no, no. Losing possession in midfield and giving our opponent a counter-attack there. Fortunately, to Stegen managed to clear that cross. So it's nil-nil, guys, at halftime. And as we said, I think the numbers, when we look at the stats, will reflect that we haven't created that many opportunities. But still, I've seen lots of positive signs from Bas today. Yeah, we haven't really had, if you look, like you said, we don't really have that many shots on target. But from our first half performance, I'm very happy with it. I think that we're creating danger and that we're linking up well. It's just the fact that we don't have that final touch. And I really like how a lot of the players like Trincao and Coutinho, of course, are testing the keeper from outside the box. So they're not waiting for the little passes. Um, for the passage just rolling into the goal. They're testing from outside the box, and I really like that as well. And I think in the second half, if we continue playing like this, 
I think goals will come. I mean, I don't think there's a doubt about goals it. Goals will come for sure. And let's think, like, it's not going to be easy. It's an away game. We're in, on their pitch. Uh, they just have all, all, most of the uh, players back after the, all the COVID thing. And let's see what happened in the second half. But I, I really feel like goals are going to come and anytime soon because the yeah. team improved all the things that they need to improve from that game against Atletico Madrid. For sure, there's definitely been improvements and it's interesting because it's almost a completely different lineup, a new yeah. lineup and new faces. I like how the team have defended, by the way, uh, winning the ball back very quickly every time. Uh, I think we've seen a two or three transitions by Dynamo Kiev and there could have been one clear opportunity. I remember when the ball was bouncing around inside the box, but the team dealt with it well. But on the whole, uh, Barca playing very high up on the pitch and winning the ball back very quickly. We were talking about that five-second rule and yeah. it did seem to be in place today. That uh, I mean, Dynamo barely had a chance to uh, outplay Barca in those situations and Barca contained them in their own half. Exactly. Well, let's now connect with Aviv and ask him what he thinks about this first half performance. Aviv, no goals yet, but all of us here are not worried because we've seen a really good Barca. We, they seem like they've improved a lot from Saturday's game. They're linking up, they're reading each other well. So we're not worried at all about a uh, nil-nil result going into halftime. But, but, but Aviv, we are kind of worried about you. Yeah, are you freezing? <laughs> because you look really cold. It's, it's kind of cold here. And I also speak uh, for Georgina because she couldn't connect, unfortunately. So I also share Georgina's feelings. And yeah, it's really cold here. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> is that, is that <laughs> <laughs> nothing else to say. Yeah. <laughs> no, but actually, like I share, I share your opinion. We actually have been playing pretty well. We're having the ball, as you said, 74% of ball possession, which is great. But I think where we're struggling a bit is to connect with the crosses. We have had 13 crosses, only one arrived. So I think when we finally find those nice connections, we can actually score. But actually, the beginning of the first half, Pedri, Coutinho, they connected pretty well. So there are certainly some positives. Alenia is a really uh, bright point in this team. 58 passes, 57 completed. So he's feeling definitely at home, yeah. I think, yeah. I think we can score the second half. For sure. And I think Alenia so far for me is my man of the match. If he continues like this in the second half, I'm going to choose him for sure. And you're saying that the crosses are not connecting that much. Me and Mai were just saying that they should be playing with their feet because that's where they're most comfortable with is their feet. We saw that really nice through ball from Pjanic to Dest um, linking up well and very quick recoveries. I mean, we're talking about three to four seconds. They lose the ball, they recover it back and they start attacking again. Yeah, definitely. I think the team looks hungry as well because yeah, some players are playing that are not used to play. Uh, so everyone is fighting for their chance. Everyone is fighting for the spot in the first 11, which is very positive. And as you said, quick recoveries, high pressure. And yeah, but I think uh, if we continue about those crosses, I think we're playing into their tactics by crossing so much because they have big guys. They have um, Zabarni, Mikolenko, and actually the guy I like the most is Garmash in the middle of the field for Dinamo Kiev. He's playing excellent. He wasn't there the first game. And all those big guys in the middle of Dinamo Kiev, they are very comfortable with intercepting crosses. So, yeah, I definitely agree with you, Sarah. We need to play quick, short passes uh, with Pedri, with Coutinho. Yeah. We can make that happen. So let's look for it in for the second sure. half. They're a group of talented players. And we're seeing right now on our screen the Barca Black Friday 199 for an entire year of Barca TV Plus content. Oh my God. Aviv, <laughs> how amazing is that? <laughs> that oh is so God. amazing. It is. <laughs> did you did you sign up already? I've signed up before, so I didn't need this. But I mean, if I haven't signed up, obviously, it's this would answer. be the perfect time. <laughs> it's a good answer, he said. Very good. <laughs> Anyways, Aviv, we'll talk to you later on. Perfect. See you soon. Bye. Bye, -bye. All right, guys. Well, it's time to take a little break. So we're going to go to Julia, who will give us the halftime quiz that you can only find on fcbarcelona.com. Hello, Gules. We're on the halftime on this Dynamo Kiev Barca. And as always, we've got the halftime quiz ready for you. You'll find five questions. There are only five correct answers. And you can take them on fcbarcelona.com. So let's have a look on the questions. Number one. How long would it take to walk from Camp Nou to the Olympic Stadium in Kiev? A, five days and 21 hours. B, 12 days and 17 hours. C, 24 days and five hours. Or D, 36 days and 10 hours. Question number two, who scored the last time Barca played in Kiev? 
A, Xavi en Messi, B, Pedro en Iniesta, C, Messi en Piqué, o D, Ibrahimovic en Bojan. Question number three. What didn't happen to Kuman playing against Dynamo Kiev? A, he scored a free kick. B, he scored a penalty. C, he lost the game. Or D, he got sent off. Question number four. How is Barcelona spelled in Ukrainian? A, B, C, or D? And by the way, the fact that the D is written in bold is not a clue for you guys. And the last question, number five. Which ingredient is needed to cook chicken Kiev? A, breadcrumbs, B, tomato sauce, C, garlic, or D, chicken. And now let's enjoy this trailer of Pedri's origins to celebrate that tomorrow is his 18th birthday. The football canary is identified for that, because he always starts with a little bit of a ball a jugar tú solo, a inventar contra una pared de, de tu casa que al final la, la vas dejando negra. Es fútbol de, de cancha, de inventar cosas y, y divertirte y, y creo que es un fútbol característico de aquí que, que si vas por las canchas de, de las islas lo, lo verás. Pasé una época de mi vida muy feliz porque fue cuando era muy, muy chiquitito. Normalmente o estábamos en las piscinas que estaban muy cerca o en la cancha y nos quedaba muy bien porque íbamos a jugar a fútbol y luego bajábamos las escaleritas y teníamos un bañito asegurado en las piscinas. Mi hermano para mí es, es una persona muy, muy importante porque, porque siempre ha estado ahí. Es una persona que, que me ha dado muchísimos consejos. Quiere mi, mis éxitos, quiere que yo lo, lo haga lo mejor posible y, y le estoy muy agradecido porque, porque es una persona muy, muy importante para mí. Este lo llaman la cuna de la lucha canaria. Pues por algo será. Antiguamente, cuando era más chico, estábamos siempre viendo la lucha canaria y el fútbol. Era lo que había en el pueblo, no había, no había mucho más. Un pueblo tranquilo, un pueblo dormitorio muy, 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 muy tranquilo. Apenas aquí hay problemas. Y la gente es muy tranquila, muy de cancha, muy de campo de fútbol, venga, vamos para el monte, vamos a estar. Y yo creo que eso incentiva bastante el deporte. Y a mí me lo dijo y yo quería ir, estaba encantado. Y, y medio convencí a mi hermano, dijo, si, si va Pedri, pues voy yo. Y, y empezamos en el, en el Tegueste. Puedo entrenar a Pedri eh, la primera vez con nueve añitos él. Y la, la, la imagen que tengo yo desde un primer momento en que lo veo es que es un futbolista distinto. Lo había visto en los terrenos de juego, pero nunca había tenido un trato cercano con él. Y entonces me encontré un estilo de jugador totalmente diferente, algo, algo que nunca había visto. Llegaban informes muy interesantes de, de un chico que, a pesar de no destacar por sus cualidades físicas, pues era distinto. La, la pregunta es, ¿será capaz Pedri de hacer eso que hace con niños, hacerlo con profesionales, hacerlo con, con hombres ya? That was the trailer of the origins of Pedri, uh, my exclusive content on uh, Barca TV Plus, on a uh, player who will be 18 tomorrow. Exactly, just... Julia mentioned this before, it's exclusive content that you are going to be able to see on Barca TV Plus from tomorrow's, well, from the morning, actually, yeah, this no, no, morning, no, exactly. uh, depending on the country you are, because Barca TV Plus is around the world. No, so no, definitely. And uh, we can have a look at the uh, stats of the game right now on our screens. Uh, we did say earlier on that uh, in these stats, um, we won't see that Barca have shot the the ball very many times on target mm -hmm. uh so let's have a look at them on our screens but we are performing well we are performing well we want to uh we want the fans to stay calm because uh barca are performing well today let's have a look at the game in numbers right now on our screens at the uh half time break it's dynamo nil barca nil 
They have 27% possession, we have 73. Four shots for them, two of them on target. Three for us, only one on uh, target. Four corner kicks for us, only two offsides called in the game, and that's against Dynamo. We've completed 426 passes, Dynamo only 157. 90% passing accuracy for Barca, which is very good. We're playing in their half quite a lot as well. And 76% uh, uh, passing accuracy for Dynamo. Only one yellow card shown in the game, and that was for Mila Lempianic. Yes, like you said, not a lot of shots on target. Only Only two, one, only one for Barca. Only one because the yeah. Crest were, yeah, only one. Um, but I think that's what we're saying. We're not, we're not concerned. We're not worried because they're playing well. Um, it's just a matter of time for the goals to come in. Yeah. Um, but we weren't able to connect to the Pena, uh, with the Peña Blagrana in Kiev during the pregame. So let's connect with them. And now, Vova, how are you doing? And how are the members of the Peña Blagrana doing? Because I assume you are with some of them right now. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, in the room nearby where we uh, met in last time. It's uh, around 20 people. We are violating uh, lockdown rules. That's to go out to another room, so not to have evidence that all 20 of us are watching the game together. Awesome. And you guys said uh, for this game, it was going to be about five degrees Celsius. How is the weather like? And is it actually is it cold? Because we're assuming five degrees Celsius is very cold. But let us know what the weather is like. Today it's four, so, oh. well, it's a bit less than five, but still quite okay, I don't know. But, but you see, we wore shirts and Eva was wearing the hat and everything, so I think it's warmer than in the place where he... Yeah, as you can tell, we're wearing jackets and sweaters. Um, and I see you guys are wearing uh, t-shirts, short sleeves, and it looks like it's your guys' Peña shirt. Uh, let us know what it's all about, because it looks cool. Yeah, it's about today's game. It's, it's like uh, Dynamo playing against Barcelona at home with the logo of our fan club, uh, Los Leopardos. Of course, with the date of the game. Oh, that's awesome. So when we had the idea of making these t-shirts, we thought that we somehow could go to the game or whatever, but due to lockdown, we cannot do this, but we like that. No, we like them too. Do you guys make shirts for every single Barca game or just for the big ones? Or for Champions League games? Uh, no, for, no, only for significant games. And this one, as long as we are Peña Kiev and Barca is playing is Kiev, and we were waiting for this 10 years to come for Barcelona to Kiev. So yeah, it's a significant game for us and we've made this. And actually, if you will find uh, the page on Facebook, you can try to predict the, the score still, and you will, you might win one. <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, we'll make sure all the fans on our live chat to do that, because that we would want a shirt like that. You really need to go cool. and do that now. As well. I know. Sorry, I feel yeah. like we should do that right now. Anyways, I want to ask you one last question. We see your guys' blinds or blaugrana colors. Is that just a coincidence, or did you guys do that on purpose? Because I love the colors. How can you say that it's coincidence? Of course, <laughs> it's, of course it's not coincidence. I love it. <laughs> you guys bought specific blue and red colors for this. It's great. You guys yeah. are... Awesome Kules, awesome Barca fans. It's been great connecting with you guys. And as always, we love having you guys on the show. And we'll talk to you guys in post game. I'm sure. Okay. See ya. Bye, Boba. Bye, guys. I really love this Peña. I really, they're super fun. <laughs> also, they're talking that they, they, they were breaking the rules of COVID-19. Of, uh, COVID COVID we're, we're not going to put too much of a focus on that. I mean, we don't want anyone to go and uh, interrupt their fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the second half has started, guys. Um, I think there's no changes uh, made in Barca's lineup. So therefore, we're playing with Marc Andre Stegen in goal, Dest, Mingueza, Langley, and Junior Filippo in uh, defense, Pjanic and Alenia in midfield and up front, Trinca on the right, Coutinho on the left and Pedri behind Martin Braithwaite. And so far, we've liked what we've seen from this lineup. Yeah, for sure. We've liked what we're seeing and I think that in the second half we're going to see goals. I mean, no one wants a nil-nil result. We don't want a draw. I mean, even though a draw will 
allow us to qualify to the knockout rounds of the European competition. We want to win. We want a convincing win, and we want goals. And hopefully Trincao, one of the goal scorers tonight, because yeah. he hasn't scored yet, like you said, Robert, for Barca. Oh, wait a minute. Um, Barca in trouble here. Verbich picks it up, runs into Langley. Lang uh, just thinking, makes a save there off of the shot by Verbich. And I want to see what happened there, because Barca looked like they had the uh, situation under control, and then... There was a collision between Langley and I think Puyalski. Yeah. So Langley. Oh. Okay, so Langley looks to make the pass to Mingitha. Puyalski goes in, tries to make the interception, and then uh, gets hurt in the process. I mean, there was no foul there. That led to a verbiage shot, which was well saved by Mark Andre to Stegen. No trouble there. For our captain today, Mai. Our captain today. and. Actually, he's well. You, you mentioned that in the first half, he's not had been doing a lot of of, of test or work uh, in front of the goal because oh, he, uh, probably his second save. He yeah, had to make one yeah. late in the uh, first half, but uh, yeah. It hasn't been a busy night for Mark Andre to stay in. No. Trincao keeps it in. Pedri gets inside the box. Pedri tries to feed Braithwaite in the middle. Ball rolls away from uh, Braithwaite, but Barca win it back. Here is Pjanic. Braithwaite, short oh, touch nice. to Pedri. Trincao inside the box. What can Trincao create here? It's a cross looking oh, for Coutinho at the far post. Passes. Headed away by Karabayev. Whenever Sorry, you uh, have time, Katira. I have two amazing stats. OK, wait a minute. Let's see what Barca can create here. Pjanic back to Mingitha. Mingitha, Langley. Barca. Creating from scratch again now, Langley feeds it out to Coutinho on the left. Coutinho back to Junior Firpo. Langley, okay, Mike, go for it and I'll interrupt if, uh, if anything okay. happens. Okay, Sarah, listen to this. The Dynamo Barca 11 is our youngest in the Champions League by average age since December 6, 2011 against Vat Borisov. Vo Borisov. Bate Borisov, yeah. Wow. Borisov. Since 2000. Today, yeah. 20, wow, 24 years, years old, 206 days, and nine years ago, 23 years old, 93 days. Wow. That was a game. No, oh, Dynamo Kiev won their penalty, but the referee is having none of that. Coutinho feeds it out to uh, Trincao. Can Trincao get there? Yeah. No, it will be a throw in to Barca. Continue, Mike. And the referee says, play on. I remember that game against Vate Borisov. It was a day in which um, Marc Bartra played when he was very young. Sergi Roberto, Martin Montoya, all the of that generation. Rafinha, yeah. Thiago. I was about to ask you, did you remember that starting lineup? Because okay, okay. I have no, the no, picture here. Oh, you have the picture. I want to guess. I have the picture. I want to guess. Okay. This is 2011, you said? 2011. Yeah. So I'm assuming uh, Victor Valdez wasn't in goal, so that would have been Pinto. Yes. Pinto. Mm -hmm. Montoya. Yes. Bartra. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, Fontas? Fontas, maybe, yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice, nice. And I'm trying to think who would have been the left back. Anyway, uh, in that lineup would have been as well Tiago. Tiago, yes. Yeah. Sergio Roberto? Si. Sí. Uh, Tello? No. No. Cuenca? Cuenca, yes. yes. Uh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. You're Boya? No, no, not Boya. Boya left. No. Boya had left. Okay, well, you go for it, because otherwise we just... Uh... We have both Alcántaras. Ah, Rafinha, of course, yeah. We have Dos Santos. Jonathan Dos Santos, yeah. Maxwell. Ah, like that's why... And I can... Pedro. Oh, good. The other Canarian, but Pedro Rodriguez. So many uh, Masia players as well in that lineup. Yes. I think Maxwell was the only one. Oh, uh, Maxwell and Pinto were the only ones who were. Well, won. obviously, it's Guardiola era, so it's yeah, yeah, but, all made I mean, La Masia. And obviously, uh, Barca had qualified for the next uh, stage of the Champions League in that game, and that's why Guardiola gave a chance to the youngsters. Exactly. No, no, amazing, amazing. I remember that game. I think we won. Two. Two nil. You're going too far, Robert. I want to. Oh, no, no, I think it was four To have nil. the picture back with. I think it was four nil. Robert with the guy who built the Camp Nou. <laughs> Please. That's not that long <laughs> ago. Come on. Okay. Uh, Dynamo Kiev in transition here. A chance for Bujalski putting the cross inside for Verbich. Mingesa. I think it was Ling Mingesa, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleared it, it away for Barca. From the right-hand side, in comes a cross. Desk gets his body in the way, and Barca will win it back. Here is Strinkau, who is oh, fouled. The referee blows the whistle, and Barca will be able to breathe here. Sarah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I was you're very concentrated. <laughs> no, yeah. because I don't know why they didn't call that. He just went for his body. He didn't even go for the ball. Yeah, still a foul. 
crickets. Yeah. Perfect cool. sound effect. Thank you, guys. No, I, I love this one. Robert, like, Sarah, like, <laughs> wake up. Well, I did leave a moment of silence so that Sarah yeah, could step yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, we both look at Sarah like, like so hot. She didn't Talk. get it. She didn't get it. Anyways, let's go over to Julia, who will give us the answers of the halftime quiz. Yes, we did it like a few minutes ago, so we're going to reveal the answers. The first question was, how long would it take to walk from Camp Nou to the Olympic Stadium in Kiev? The correct answer was C, 24 days and 5 wow. hours. The second question was, who scored the last time Barca played in Kiev? It was A, Xavi and Messi. Question number three, what didn't happen to Kuman playing against Dynamo Kiev? The correct answer was D, he got sent up, off, so that means he didn't got sent off. Question number four, how is Barcelona spelled in Ukrainian? The correct answer was A, I hope I could spell that, I hope I could pronounce that, I can't. But well, it's Barcelona, <laughs> isn't it? It's the correct the, the, answer. The, the pronunciation must be the same. We can yeah. ask the Peña. Well, mm -hmm. do you want to try? Because I'm not. <laughs> it, it must be Barcelona in a Russian that, accent. Oh, that, great wait. Test inside the box. Oh. Test oh. goal! Sergio Test with his first goal as a Blaugrana. Yes. 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 five. Boom. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Julia! Julia! Oh, high five. Yeah, high five for everyone! <laughs> Good luck, Julia! Yes! Uh, I love when this happens! What a goal! Test, I love it! D wow, fantastic! The young Great build up by Barca, let's see the replay. Uh, because Barca worked their way inside the box. It looked like Braithwaite was going to have an opportunity, but then he played the extra pass to Dest, I believe. Yes. And Barca take a much deserved lead. Much, okay. much, much deserved. Here is Look Dest, Dest, picking it up. Pedri inside to Braithwaite. The extra touch to oh, Sergio beautiful. Des. I don't know if it was an intentional pass or if the ball just rolled away from Braithwaite and Des was there. I think, I think now no. I think it's the second, the second it's, case. It's not it intentional. It wasn't an intentional pass, no, no, no. but anyway, it counts. Des picked it up and put yeah. it across the keeper. First goal as a Barca player. What a fantastic moment for Sergio Des. What a quick reaction from Des. Because yeah. if any Dynamo Kiev player was ready to take that ball and put it away from the box, and Des just took it and, 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 and scored. And it's not an easy way to score because he was not in a good position on the box, actually. Oh, Barca uh, trying to play it back inside. Let's go back to Julia so she can finish the answers of the uh, halftime quiz. Great, we're on to the last question, number five. Uh, which ingredient isn't needed to cook chicken Kiev? The correct answer was B, tomato sauce. I don't put tomato sauce on chicken Kiev. Don't put. Have you ever tried that? I've had Is it good? Kiev. Yep. Wait, chicken ah, Kiev, what so is happening? Chicken now? Kiev is uh, chicken in breadcrumbs, but it's got kind of like a garlic butter inside of oh. it. So oh. Wait, is this something um, mm. in, like, this is a traditional food I, in I, Kiev? I, I don't know if it's a traditional thing in Kiev, but <laughs> chicken Kiev is definitely a well-known dish. Trincao with the opportunity into the hands of Bushan. Uh, a well-known dish here in Barcelona? Well, well, all over the world, I think. Ah, I mean, well, I've never heard of it. <laughs> We, we oh. should try it. Yeah, we'll I, have to I, try no, no, that no. I, I love it. I mean, my, my parents in their restaurant, they used to make it and it was oh. very good. Very good. That's good. One. Very fatty, very fatty. but I love fatty good. food. Yeah, uh, very good. Okay, guys, we also asked our fans to guess the score with us. I have here the top predictions. The first one, with the, the one with the most number of votes is 1-3, 23% of the votes, followed by 1-2, 18%. Needle 2, well, 2 0 for Barca, 16th percent, 3 0 for Barca, 10th percent, and 1 4. These are the top predictions. And also, the answer on today's poll, we're going to reveal it now. Will Barca qualify for the round of 16 today? The correct that well the correct answer the answer with the most number of votes is yes, with 93 percent of the votes. And I'm going to finish with a picture of Abib, who could be staring in the movie of. Home Alone, I think you're going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I was getting cold just by seeing him. Just w by watching him, I was I was getting so cold. Um, no, no, definitely. I couldn't no, come in no, no, without no. the we, family. We feel sorry for him and his uh, <laughs> central heating not working. We do, we do. I think he's colder than Georgina will must be in Kiev. <laughs> no, no. Sending the message from Kiev. Absolutely. So maybe it's a, it's a suggestion uh, from here from my gender. Maybe you could just, I don't know, try or think about that. Staring in the maybe, next movie maybe of Maybe we Hobola? should have another. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to make a bold su su suggestion here. Create yeah. another movie poster, which is fairly obvious. Frozen. Yeah, it's another good one. It's Frozen. a good one. Yeah. Well, this means winter is almost here. Um, thanks to Abib, who got us all cold today. Um, I'm going to go back and I'll come in here in a couple of minutes with the comments about the Cinco. love chat. You're oh going boy. Oh, we're excited about this. I'm so excited the best about this. The thing is about to come today. I can promise you the that. Love chat. <laughs> 
We love it. We love it. Yeah. We love it. No, no, Julia's no. the Cupid. Do we have a? Uh, can oh, you yeah. make a, uh, Look at a spoiler? Uh, do we have a couple yet? We don't have a couple. We have many people who's willing to look for a partner here in oh, the center. Oh, okay. Coutinho, Coutinho. That's all I'm going to say for <laughs> now. So sorry, Mai. I'm going uh, to let you enjoy the game. I'm, I'll be here in five minutes and we'll be counting down. Yeah, you will. You will. I'll probably Countdown you. starting Hopefully now. Maybe when you come back, Barca will have scored another goal and we can be even more relaxed. Okay. Exactly. I would love that. Hopefully they will score when I'm here so I can celebrate with you. Five more nice. minutes, Julia. Nice. Really. We'll you. see you. I'll be here. Why am I on screen again? <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, Thank you, Julia. Thank you. 56 uh, minutes played. Barca have scored through Serginho Des. That's the best news, of course, uh, of the game so far. Barca have a corner kick because Coutinho took a shot from long range and it was blocked by a defender. And now Braithwaite scores. Braithwaite! Yes! Oh, Martin Braithwaite scores. Air five. Boom. 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 Boom! Boom! Yay! Fantastic. Off of the corner kick. Barca score their second yes. goal. I told you guys the goals would come in the second half. It's such a shame that Julia only just left. She wanted to celebrate a goal with us, and uh, well, maybe it will be, it'll be a third. Wait, wait. Oh, he deserves a goal so much. I'm so happy for him. First goal of the season as well for Martin Braithwaite oh. as three Barca players make their way to warm ups. Let's go through the goal because, oh, the assist comes off of Mingitha. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the near post. So the cross by Alenia. Mingitha heads His it back head. at the near post. Oh, and oh. Braithwaite slides in oh, at the he far says post. That to wasn't Spanish. <laughs> put it in. I'm pretty sure Kuman's going to be so happy. Okay, for, for those of us who oh, remember nice things past um, 10 years back. I remember, okay. 10 years back? So, so, yeah, so okay. remember things that happened before us. 2010? <laughs> <laughs> that was a trademark goal for Frank Reichardt's yeah. uh, Barca. Ra Rafa Marquez would come in at the uh, at the near post, head it back, and at the far post, for example, Barca won a league on that goal in, against Levante. <laughs> That's amazing, though. That's amazing that you know what? this, and it's. I'm just. I love I, your I brain. really wish I could have your memory, Robert. But guys, uh, Braithwaite scores his first goal of the season. Yeah, Serginio Des becomes the first American to score for FC Barcelona. Well, he scores his first and goal as well. Assist yes, assist by Minguesa. And it's every, we're just perfect. everything's going well. It. This is cool. Okay, by the way, uh, Barca need to be careful. The cross inside, Junior Firpo clears away for a corner kick. And let's not relax, of course, because uh, we're 2 nil up. It's very good, but um, I mean, there's still a lot of time to play over she half an hour. She doesn't need to tell you. <laughs> yeah, Maya, Maya's getting her prediction right. That's why she's... No, 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 oh, no, no. It's, it's not because of that. Screen. It's not because of that. Oh, you don't want to talk about that? Okay. No, it's because Griezmann, Jordi Alba, and Ricky Puig oh, yeah. are oh, warming yeah. up. We, we forgot to talk about that. We were just about to talk about that before the corner kick. Yes. No. Ah, your memory. Was it in the celebration? You said, you said, oh, let's take a look first on oh. the corner kick. Okay. And then you forgot. Look okay, that. anyway, yeah, uh, Ricky, Ricky Puig, yeah. Griezmann and Jordi Alba might be coming in in the second half. And Barca 2, Dynamo Kiev nil. goals by Serginho Dest and Braithwaite. Braithwaite. Love to hear Braithwaite. Now we need Trincao. We do need I Trincao. Want Trincao. We need the extra goal, we need Trincao to score. Yeah. Um, one, because I would like to get my prediction right for one time. <laughs> and uh, two, because we want uh, Trincao to score. I also want to yeah, know want what's them. happening in the other game. You went to say... Oh, uh, well, we, we, we forgot to say that. Cristiano Ronaldo had equalized for Juve. I don't know what the score is right now. I but Sarah, if you, you want right to check now. that. Uh, one, still 1-1. One, still 1-1, one, one. Still still one, one, one. yeah. Okay. Maya's very excited because Popov has come on for... Um, for Dynamo Kiev, that means I'll have to say his name about ten times, and Why I will giggle name? each and every time that that Poppy, happens. The, I, the sailor man or the iron man? No, no, that's Popeye. Popeye, Popeye, that's, that's the guy. Popeye, not Popov. <laughs> yeah, but he said reminds me of Popeye. Okay. I'm Popov. Sorry. Hey. Uh, Trincao foul. Can, can we see yellow card anytime soon? Because Trincao is receiving all the fouls. Ricky Puch is going to yes, come on. Yes, finally. Good news. Good news for Ricky, good news for Barca. 2 0 up with goals from two players who hadn't scored yet this Look season. Sergio Dest and Martin out. Braithwaite. Dest with the cross inside cleared away by Popov, I believe. Get it back. <laughs> nice. Now Barca I win hope. it back very quickly. Pjanic. What did he drink off? Pedri. Nice. Knocked in the oh, process there, but Barca. Was the run, junior yeah, Junior Firpo was making the run. Alenia didn't quite see it. Now the ball goes to Junior. Here is Alenia. Oh, Dortmund up 2-0. Is that Bruges? That's against Bruges. Paris Saint-Germain are up as well. Manchester United are 3-0 up. Wow. So uh, I remember in the last game, we had quite a few unexpected results. 
these ones that we're seeing right now look a bit more normal. Normal. <laughs> Antoine Griezmann's going to come on as well. So we'd definitely like to see Griezmann score as well. We need to get him in goal scoring form. Yes, because he's an attacker, he's a striker, he's a forward. He lives off else? goals. He lives <laughs> off goals. He well, needs he needs to, to break score. the drought. And oh, there's a Dynamo Kiev player who's hurt now. That's Verbic. See if he can continue. He had his arm on his uh, left ankle. And I think in the background there, as we got the shot of uh, Luchescu, I could see Conrad de la Fuente making his way to uh, warm up. So it would be super cool to see Conrad get his first few minutes Two as well. Two Americans on the pitch? That would be amazing. Yeah. That would be amazing. He could be. Proud of you boys. Wait, wait, but we just saw who? Who else was warming up right now? I'm sorry. Um, oh, um, Jordi Alba, the three sorry. players who are going to come on the, are the, Jordi Alba, Jordi Alba Griezmann, and, and, and Ricky. Uh, Ricky, Ricky. So I think Junior Firpo, obviously, because uh, yes. he's the logical change for Jordi Alba. Midfield? Braithwaite. Okay. And I think Alenia stays on. Maybe. Pjanic? The I no, want I, Alenia to stay I think, on. I think that Ricky doesn't come on for a midfielder. He comes on for either uh, Trincao, Pedri. Maybe Pedri, who's had played lots of minutes. I think that's what. Yeah, but Pedri is doing Coutinho, an amazing maybe. job I don't know. today. Coutinho, who was just coming back from an injury. Don't take out Alenia. Don't take out I don't think he Pedri. takes off Pjanic or um, Alenia. Because uh -huh. Kuman sees Ricky more in the attacking, in the attacking three, yeah, the, the three attacking midfielders. Well, let's see what happens. The substitutions aren't happening just yet. Dynamo Kiev playing from behind. Mm. But who knows? Good way to win back confidence oh. this game. I mean, uh, obviously, let's not celebrate just yet because uh, there's still no. about half an hour to play. But it's a great bounce back performance for Barca. For sure. And you can just tell the way that they're playing, they're confident, and that rubs off on us too because we're confident as yeah. well. We went into the halftime with no goals, but we, were, we weren't worried at oh, all. I wasn't worried. No. Because they look so comfortable on the yeah. ball. They're, they're doing all these skills and dribbles, and you don't do that if you're not comfortable. They feel very calm and collected, and they're showing off all their skills and talent, and it's so fun to watch a game like this. Definitely, definitely. And the fans, of course, will be able to see the highlights of this game. Oh, no, they won't today. They won't no, today. No, Sorry. yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. They no, no. won't, but later on. Well, later Absolutely. on, yeah, yeah, but not on our show. Yeah, okay, but of course. But if, if they go to Barca TV+, Plus, they're going to have the reactions and everything from this on game. On Barca TV+, Plus, as of midnight in each of their in countries, of they'll the be able to watch the uh, highlights and they can and subscribe, if, Sarah, to... Yeah, I was going to say, if you guys don't have Barca TV+, Plus, well, don't worry, don't freak out, because right now there's a 199 offer for the entire year for Barca TV Plus content. So yeah, I go away and You can find subscribe. the link on the Barca website and it's, as I said before, cheaper than a sandwich. Come on, guys. I mean, $1.99, yeah. what is that? What is I mean, that? What, what, I mean, it's like a hot there's dog. so much cool content on there for $1.99 a year. Mm -hmm. make, make sure you make the most of this. Uh, we were saying, what, are, what is our favorite content on, on Barca TV Plus? Like your favorite there are series? So many. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Dynamo Kiev have a chance on the counter-attack. Sorry, Sarah. Each no, no. time you bring up the question, we find an excuse not to answer <laughs> that. A well-built counter-attack by Dynamo Ooh. Kiev, but they mess it up. De, la, de pena. De pena. <laughs> the execution, my... Uh, she, 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 she already has it in her head. The execution was de pena, which means pena. It, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. It's a shame. But Barca need to be very careful, because that was yeah. a very dangerous opportunity. Three on two. After a mistake in midfield, and De Pena sent it wide. So a chance there for Dynamo, and I think now Barca are making their substitutions. So oh. let's see who comes off. Pjanic, Pjanic is one who's come off. Who was the other one who was walking from the box? Oh. Okay, Ricky so oh, Pjan uh, uh, Junior must be the other one. Ricard. Ricard Puch. Ricky Puch will come on for Pjanic, so there goes uh, my prediction that a midfielder wouldn't take and be yeah. taken off because uh, no, Ricky Puch was coming off. Let's see who else. I imagine Junior for Jordi, uh, for Jordi Alba. Yeah. Let's see, we're getting a shot Suspense. of Kuman right now, so no clues. No oh, goal. Felipe Coutinho. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I get why Coutinho comes off because um, he's coming back from an injury still. I mean, he was out for, mm. for over a month. And they I don't want to risk it. Yeah, they don't want to risk it. So Griezmann comes on for Coutinho, and Jordi Alba, I believe, came on for Junior. 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 I mean, it we didn't be, get the right? shot. But uh, those are the three substitutions for. Bar oh, no, oh. for Langley. Oh, that's okay, not so good. Okay, so we messed that up. That's not good. That means he's... No, 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 no. I think no, Kuman's no, no. giving him rest. It, it, he's putting exactly. Junior in the middle. Okay, I think no, 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 no. Right, right now, it's the only centre-back you have in yeah. a natural position. No, no, no. I think Kuman's so giving him rest. Really smart, and he's put, yeah. Yeah. 
I'm so, surprised. Uh, I thought Langley had some muscle issues. No, or so no. out of all the substitutions we predicted, or at least the ones We're I predicted, I got zero out of three. But at least Nicky Puig is on the field. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he's had very limited minutes this season, so let's see if he can make the most of these. And I'm happy that Kuman, that Trincao, and Pedri, and Des and Braithwaite. And yeah, Braithwaite. no, no, no. But I mean, the, the young youngest. Players. Yes. No, no, we want the young guys on the pitch. Now, a foul called against uh, Barca. Maybe, Sarah, the perfect time to go and see if our love stories have evolved I've on uh, Match Center. I've been looking forward to this moment, Julia, all my life. Take it away. Okay, we're going there. Just, I'm going to have you waiting for a few more minutes, just a couple. We're going to see first the reactions to this and Breathwaite goals because we, we haven't done that yet. So let's check it out. These are the first um, this reactions well reactions to this goal this yeah a couple of them as usual um i love it when the chat goes crazy because uh any of our players scores we have also goal reactions to Bathwaite's goal you're going to see them right away yeah there they are comments about you guys the first one from key creations is robert wearing barca socks i am he is indeed that is correct there can you are. show them and yeah. i'm wearing them outside of my uh <laughs> My jeans today. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. We'll yes. get them in shot. There they are. More comments about your clothes. They're Michael. good luck socks, by the good way. Good luck socks. Yeah, you they, can wear from them the Tom again. Brown collection. Yes. Where and can they get them if they want them? Uh, well, they can go and check out the uh, Tom Brown and Barca Foundation okay. uh, initiative, I, I should say, um, in which they've created a collection of uh, Barca clothewear, and all the proceeds will go to fight COVID-19. So it's a very good cause. Nice. And you can go and check it out. And I think there's a link in the description of our YouTube video. So go and check it out there. Yeah. Michael A is also asking for the blue and red jacket that the girl, that means Sarah, is wearing. The girl. And it's the same, right? Yeah, same, as same thing, said. Tom Brown. Go check out the link in the description box, guys. Lots of cool clothing. And I'm going to read Where? one more comment from Manny. Hey, Sarah, what nice girls you have today. You look very good. Mm -hmm. So do you, Roberto, with those socks. You love it so well, too. And my <laughs> M.A. <laughs> Maya, really? With good jokes. Let's pick up points against Dynamo with Yeah, I let's think do mind. Every I'm going time, to look every for the time board. Every is on screen, okay. we'll, have to, we'll, we'll have to have a graphic. Make a statement. Can we have the whiteboard, guys? Can we have the whiteboard, No, I, I'm going to look for it. Yeah, go get the whiteboard. I'm going. She's going to get the whiteboard so we can... Settle Spell this out her once name for and once for all. and for all, so you guys can get it right. No worries, Manny. Don't worry at all. But no, we're no, gonna no. just give you guys. We're gonna settle the this. correct way. It's to spell spell, Maya's name. Wait a minute, because uh, Boss have an opportunity. Braithwaite can Ooh. score his second, and he is denied by <laughs> Bouchan <laughs> there. No. What is he gonna call? Oh, and is there a penalty? I don't know. He There's called, a penalty. He called There's a this. penalty. Penalty. penalty? Penalty for Barca. No, no, Maya, you left. You can't come and celebrate the penalty. <laughs> <yet>. <laughs> Man. So, you're our Barca can score a Julia. third goal here. I am. <laughs> yeah, no, no, there's yeah, a definite clear. push. So, Alenia fed the ball inside the box to Jordi Alba. First touch crossed by Jordi Alba. Braithwaite heads it. It's denied by Bouchan, but he'd been pushed. So, a ye uh, yellow card for who am I? For Popov. No. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Popov. Who's taking it, and Braithwaite? Braithwaite's taking it. Very oh, generous by Antoine Griezmann. Very generous really, by Antoine. Yeah. I mean, but the foul was on Braithwaite, so... Yeah, no, no. no but Excellent. it should be no, Griezmann. I mean, there's, there's, mm. There are hierarchies in the team. Yeah, of and, course. I of mean, course, Sarah. Unless course. Griezmann mm. was generous here. I think if it's a striker on a striker and it falls on no, the... No, no, after no, no, the no. penalty. Anyway, Braithwaite will be the one taking it, so... Potentially, this could be Barca's third goal. And of course, we want to celebrate Vamos. it. Braithwaite going for the brace here. The shot by Braithwaite, yes. and it's a goal! Let's go! Martin Smooth finish Blaine. by my. Wait a minute. Bing. My my my, my uh, microphone gears come apart. Boom. 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 Julia. Julia. Yes. Boom. <laughs> I'm your good luck charm today. <gasps> you are. Because the second goal was when I left. So. And the third goal. You, was are, you, you said are. you wanted to celebrate a goal with us. I and, did. And you did. And also your prediction and oh. mine are yes. on point now. Yep. If there are more goals, we'll be all right. Yes. Uh, yes. Wait a minute. Let me get my microphone gear back. Well, I'm glad I'm wrong. Do you want me to because help you? I love to see goals. Right. You're okay. I'm alright. Uh, Julia can go on reading comments. Okay, so this was the last comment. We're going to move on to what you've been waiting the whole show, and it's the love center, the love chat. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, oh, as wow. Dante Medina so says, many S's. FC Barcelona presents Love TV. We <laughs> ask you.
you guys, we asked you to type an S and send an S in the comments if you were single. So these are <laughs> some, some, I just some it. of the Wait, comments. Wait, hold on, what? Matthew, <laughs> says, Matthew says, who loves me? Yeah, and don't worry, because he's got an answer. He doesn't know that, but he's got an answer. So these are some of the comments of of our fans who are single today. Some of them, because it was impossible to have them all. Um, we have also an uh, comments, comments about them. Daddy Lobo, who can be my girlfriend? I need a love in my life. <gasps> the average boys I need a girlfriend too. Patrick Walsh, oh. I love you, Matthew Lee. So as Patrick he said, and Matthew. Yeah, he's got an answer. So maybe a love story will begin today between Patrick and Matthew Lee. <laughs> Thanks to Match Center, we'll be very happy if that happens. More comments. Bertolvian, help me, please. We're doing that. We're trying to help you guys. <laughs> we are trying so to help So we're you. doing our best. Keep sending your comments. Miguel Angel, I absolutely love Barcelona, but my girlfriend doesn't. So any Barcelona lovers in here? Well, I mean, Barca yeah, well, can do... We, we all love, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we all Barca, Barca can do anything. Jen Zulj, single and ready to mingle, okay. <laughs> Little Benjamin, I'm single and ready to mingle too, okay. Especially with a Barca fan on Barca TV, just the perfect love story. Oh, nice one. So the bride, that's for you, Sarah. I'm not single, but I can leave my girlfriend for Sarah. <gasps> oh, <gasps> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sudeep Rai, Ooh. not okay. You gotta stay faithful in life. <laughs> Loyalty. No, no. Uh. Right the heart away. It's not okay. I don't no, agree. No. no. Sarah doesn't approve. No, doesn't I don't approve. approve. And the last comment is from Javier Chacon. Never mind, my ex texted me, so don't need a girlfriend no more. Oh, awesome. Bobby. So, as you see, guys, um, any of our fans today are single and they're looking for a couple, for a partner. So if you guys are single, you just have to keep sending in your comments. There are like 15, 20 minutes remaining of the game. There's still time to create love stories here in Match Center. Now we have one between Matthew and I can't Patrick. remember the other guy's name. Patrick. 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 Yeah, that's right. I have it in here. Patrick. So this is the first one. We'll see how it continues. But <laughs> what? there's still time. <laughs> What's wrong with that finger? You don't know about my, my, my weird fingers? You don't no. know about my weird the thumbs? The thumb? What, what the hell was that? They are, they are 100. 80 degrees reversible. Yeah. No, 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 this is amazing. I, I, you always do that, and, and I think our friends don't notice that because if they did, Look. they would be commenting about that. I think that's wrong. I think that's too much. <laughs> Let's take that off. <laughs> this is a too bad show when this is like. Okay, so I, as I was saying, nice guys, <laughs> I'm trying. Guys, Julia, I can't in your I'm comments. Sorry. We're loving this. We're loving creating love stories in here, and it's just like I said, 15, 20 minutes remaining of the game. I would love. If you keep sending your comments, if you keep if you keep telling us if you're single or not, if you're looking um, for a, a girlfriend or boyfriend, just keep sending your comments. I'll be back with I love more this love stories. Chat. I hope so. Make me happy, guys. I would love to be oh. Cupid for a day. So you are being Cupid. You brought yeah, 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 Patrick and Matthew together. I am. I'll be back, guys. I mean, this is getting more and more exciting. Yeah, we're love is in the air on. Uh, love is in the air on Matt oh, Center. Uh -huh. Everywhere we look around. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, we while we were talking about uh, love, the love chat, a substitution, a substitution and a debut for Barca, Matheus Fernandez, a summer signing who gets his first minutes. Contra attack. And uh, in the Champions League, he was uh, he came on for Pedri, first minutes for Matheus, someone who you had the chance to talk to in preseason, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I went to Valladolid because he was on loan on Valladolid. Actually, Barca signed him at uh, the beginning of this year, but they gave it along to yeah. Valladolid and he was playing for them. He played actually two games. One was uh, against Atletico Madrid. Um, it's his first game, his first time in the squad. And today, well, he made his debut. He started the season with an injury, didn't he? And he was yes. out for quite a yes. few games. He was, yeah, he was out due to injury for a month and something. And he actually came from Palmeiras, from Brazil. And I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for him because I think he was not expecting this, but I think it's because of all the conditions. And it's good to have a coach again as Kuman that are giving the chance to young players yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and trying many different things. This is so cool. Okay, uh, feeling relaxed because we're up 3-0 with a team missing so many important players, by the way. I mean, we, our lineup is completely depleted compa uh, compared to our usual lineups. So, um, you know who is Mateo's uh, idol? Since ever and now, I think for him is a dream. Give me, uh, give us a clue. 
He's actually in the Barca squad right now. Oh, uh, that. Well, oh wait, then let us is, is, is it Messi? Is it because Messi? No, would, okay. no, it must be someone else because that's he's too in, obvious. He's playing the same position as Mateus. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, Busquets. Uh, the cross inside. The Busquets. cross goes over the line, so Sergio it's a goal kick. Busquets. Is it Busquets? Yeah, yes. it is Busquets. You guys, we just got a stat from Tom Carter. Braithwaite has participated in three goals in this match, two goals, one assist. He had only participated in one goal in his 17 previous games with FC Barcelona. Super but, performance but, but, by Braith Wait a minute. The okay. assist for me is not actually an assist. Yeah, we'll count it. We'll, we'll count, count it. it. We'll we'll we got to touch we'll it. We'll you got to see if you intentional. We'll see if UEFA counts it. If UEFA counts it, we'll count okay. it. Okay. UEFA count it? I mean, I think so. <laughs> I I mean, so. We're not going to take an assist away from Braithwaite if we're. No, no, if no, no, no. If we're counted, it's good we're for us. We're not going to be the ones of to course. do that. No problem. I'm just really happy for Braithwaite. I think he's a great guy, both great player, great guy, and I think he deserves. Yeah, and he what had a, oh, wait a minute. Oh, lovely move forward Playing by Barca. Ricky puts to Jordi Alba. The nutmeg. Oh, the ball taken away from Alba. And he had a prominent role in one of our uh, Barca live shows, the Classico one. Ah, yes, he gave the... Sergi. Ser uh, Sergi, his name, gave him a nice jersey, a signed jersey from Braithwaite. Uh, no, he's a very, he's, very uh, sweet Sergi, guy. the lad who's in a, uh, wheelchair. In a wheelchair, and there was that video that went viral at the Ciudad Esportiva, in which Braithwaite stopped and got out, got out of his yeah. car, took a picture with him. And then uh, during the Classico show we did, we had uh, Sergi on the show, the lad um, who was in the video. And Braithwaite sent him a message and a signed jersey. Yeah, so. surprise video in a nice little jersey for him. Like, An amazing it was gesture. a nice little moment. Oh, so Gino Desk gets inside the box. Oh, oh, oh Ricky Pooch, come on, Ricky. Uh, the cross. By Serginho, by Serginho Dest, yes, no. and he found Ricky close Bien to the penalty spot all oh, by his lonesome. But he no. sent it sailing over the crossbar. Guys, that would have been Ricky Pooch's goal. It Bien. would have been his first goal as a blow runner, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, in yes, a Champions yes. League oh. amazing pass Come by Dest. Dest, Dest, Dest. Amazing stuff. And all we need now, really and truthfully, let's see if uh, Ronald Koeman makes our wishes come true, is that uh, Conrad de la Fuente gets a few minutes. We you think? just have one substitution well, left, We just right? have one left, yeah. Okay. Nice little turn there by uh, Ricky Puch. And guys, right after this game, we're going to go to Barca TV Plus to hear what Kuman has to say, to hear what the players have to say, to give you guys an in-depth analysis of this match. And if you guys don't have Barca TV Plus, do not worry. Right now, there's a Black Friday offer, $1.99. So if you guys don't have it, go subscribe. It's this incredible offer, and we'll see you guys there. And it's now or never. It's now or never. Yeah. Only this Then week, you're going to regret it if yeah. you don't go to it's Barca TV Plus. It's cheaper than almost exactly. anything in life. It's cheaper than a bag of candy. <laughs> it's cheaper than a coffee. No, it's not cheaper no, than a coffee. Really what, no. Amy, Depending what coffee on where. What coffee is Amy buying? What, it's Amy's just cheaper, cheaper than, than a coffee, coffee if you go to Starbucks. If, uh, okay. Let me tell you that. But, yeah, or not, not another at, country. Not the if you, you go to America, go to. it's way cheaper than a coffee. Okay, coffee in America cheap. is seven dollars for like a basic cup. Did of coffee. you see in the uh, wow. NBA bubble? Um, Jimmy Butler had his own. Uh, Jimmy Butler, by the way, who was also, also on Barca Live at the beginning of last yeah. season. Um, With Georgina. He had his own uh, coffee machine and he was selling coffees for twenty dollars. I know. Twenty dollars. Yeah, but NBA players make a lot of money. Yeah, so it's nothing. It was, it's nothing to them. <laughs> for them, it's like one cent, or less than that. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. Can we get the cricket? No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. no sometimes wait. we need silence. Come on. I was talking. just getting roasted in my uh, earpiece here, so. By Amy. Yeah. You gotta love Amy roasting people. Yep. It's what she does in That's life, guys. That's her main job. <laughs> it's cheap. Okay. Anyway, uh, Barca TV Plus at the moment with this Black Friday offer is cheaper than some coffees. Some coffees. Some coffees. Coffees here. Anyways, 80 minutes, guys. We just hit the 80 minute mark and 10 minutes plus extra time. Oh, and I'm hoping for one more. Lovely goal move by Dean Gower. Through ball to Martin Braithwaite. Let's see if Braithwaite can go for a hat trick. I mean, who would have told him before the game started that he would be fighting here for a hat trick? He's all fired up right now. Absolutely. Who's this? Corner kick for uh, Barca. And I'm not sure right now, with 10 minutes remaining in the game, if I'm more excited for another Barca goal or for Julia to come back in uh, with more <laughs> with more love chat. Because, I mean... Oh, by the way, now that you said that. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see, let's see. Let, oh, yeah, okay. 
Alain Yao with the shot. Yeah, that's how... <laughs> okay, wh why the sad face? That's how you spell Maya's name. And the pronunciation. people. Ma e. Fans. Ma no, what? look. Oh, e. Mateus inside the box. The shot by Mateus. Can I, it can I off write of a defender. Corner kick. Should something? be a corner kick. Can I have a marker? Yeah, of course. Guys. Barca thought they should have had a corner kick there while Sarah and Maya are doing something with it's their whiteboard. Trincao, no, Griezmann was the one. No, Trincao, uh, Griezmann, Griezmann got it back to Mateus and Mateus is shot. I think it no. just. I think it's not a it corner. It just missed pop off yeah, there, so yeah, it yeah. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't have been a <laughs> corner kick. Okay, so sometimes you guys might think that because it's spelled M A E, it's pronounced May. But no, whoa, whoa, wait, hold on. Okay. No, uh, Barca deal with the situation it's perfectly. It's pronounced my. Where is this? Just say like my, my friend, my cat, <laughs> my dog, <laughs> my sister, my, my. But it's my spelled eh. like this, pronounced <laughs> like this. If you guys ever make a mistake again, I will hunt you down because we are getting. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> and they say Roberto. Thank <laughs> Thank, yeah, thank you for the Sesame Street moment, uh, I love Sarah. It. But, but, I but, love but in it. fact, your explanation wasn't all that accurate. What? Jen. It's not my. It's yeah, it ma is. E. Ma no, e. it's not. It's my. It's my. My. <laughs> <laughs> all this time I've been saying your name wrong. My. No, my. but it's because if you say it quickly, you say my, my, my. It doesn't sound the e. The e. My. 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 Well, no, my. Sounds the same. My dog. Sounds my, yeah, it's okay. Guys, my, my. please, don't confuse them right now. We just after I gave them a nice lesson. It's so fun that you're... Uh, wait a minute. Uh, chance on transition here. Junior Firpo is fouled, so <laughs> this won't count. Goal disallowed for Dynamo Kiev. No problem. Okay, it's so fun that you're like best friends, <laughs> best friends forever, besties, whatever, and that Sarah was pronouncing your name I'm wrong. I'm saying it right. But I never... No, I never heard her saying it wrong. Thank like you. Like, my, my, my. No. Fine. You, you uh, our and producer Amy just no, she's but she's saying, no, she's no, no, she's not roasting you. She just other. fell, to, she just fell to the floor off her chair, uh, laughing at you guys. <laughs> Conrad, Conrad no. de la Fuente makes her debut. American. But listen, listen, okay. listen. Okay. We don't call each other Maya and Sarah. Yeah, we don't. We don't. Since never. I, I don't care. You're best friends. You I should don't know. Care. You, you should. You should. You should call each other. My sister call me Mai. But My sister. You know, and anyway, not the same uh, mistake. Sarah, historical moment, two Americans on the pitch Two Americans on the pitch, this has never happened. A young Conrad de la Fuente just came off. Who did he come off? Francisco uh, Trincao. 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 Trincao, okay. Um, and <laughs> Des is also on the pitch. Des, who scored a goal, scored the first goal of this match. And we're hoping to see that American connection between Des and Conrad. This is an historic historical moment for Barca and for American fans that for American Barca. fans in, yeah. in historical kind of in European football I'd say as well yeah. Ricky Puch with a beautiful pass there through to Antoine Griezmann who was chasing it cleared away by Popov <laughs> oh, by the way I see most right. of the subscribers of Barca TV Plus are out from America so they will be delighted oh yes. awesome yes awesome, I think awesome. we need to gather some comments on the uh, live chat as well from uh, happy American fans right now yes. yeah I they should be happy. So I'm let's see if Julia can do that. Yeah. Julia, right, can you have a job right call now. Okay. Julia? <laughs> no, I could also go in the live chat, but okay. We have someone who does that. It's yeah, Julia. That's true. That's true. She's also, in there I checking all the comments. And even though the fans don't believe that we look at the comments. She looks at every single one. Yeah. Not every single one. No, I mean, but it's majority. to look at every single one. Uh, let me tell you that I did once. That, well, not once, but a few times. It's very difficult. Julia's job and... <laughs> So complicated. You well, see all the comments like there's a reason. Blah, blah, there's blah, blah, a reason blah. why she's the social media queen. Yeah, I put that name by the way, so but don't steal my thunder. I, I'm not stealing your thunder. I'm okay. saying that there's a reason why. <laughs> she Anyways, is that. I would also like to say I just to be clear, I never pronounced her name wrong, and someone who does is Aviv. Ah, uh, yeah. Aviv called her whoa, May. and Sam, Maya. My, no, uh, Aviv time? called her May. May, May. It's my. My, my dog, my cat, my sister, my. <laughs> No, my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, Ricky Puch running forward, Barca in transition. Here is Ricky driving forward. He's got Conrad to his right. The ball was going there. Braithwaite was there as well, and the ball got caught in between. Anyway, throw in for uh, Barca on the right-hand side. Let me tell you something. I really wish we can take this intensity and this pressing and this weight of play Into to La Liga. La Liga. Just drop it. It'll yeah. Come. It'll come. It'll come. I hope so, yeah. You, you should take the same socks, Robert. 
There is Dest with Conrad de la Fuente. The two Americans. Oh, Dest trying to get fancy there. Oh, he gets inside yeah. the box. Dest back to uh, Braithwaite. Oh, no. Braithwaite tried to set up Griezmann. A bit too far that pass. Uh, Jordi Alba. Ricky Puch. And Ricky back to Junior Firpo. <coughs> Dynamo did well to defend there, even though Dest had a beautiful. I mean, I'm starting to think that Dest is going to be my man of the match. Really? Yeah, I know. It could be good. No, Here's Conrad. Sure. Conrad trying to get away. He falls down no. and takes the defender with him. Uh, Dest is an option. Braithwaite is an option, obviously. He scored two and um, kind of assisted one. I think also the silent magician here, Alenia, is an option for me. Yep. Pedri was a type of magician. Too. Pedri as well. It was, it was a good collective performance today. Yeah. I think because they're all so young and they're so hungry and ambitious. It I'm hoping... I mean, I know it's Champions League and UEFA like has its regulations, but we'll be able to hear from lots of players today because yeah. they'll be happy. That we've got lots of English-speaking players who might want to have a little talk today with Serginho mm. Des scoring his first goal. Yes, Conrad, Conrad de la Fuente. Conrad making his debut. debut. Oh, so, Braithwaite uh, scoring goals. Braithwaite as well, obviously, scoring goals. Yeah, no, no, um, I'm hoping we'll be able to hear from them. For sure. Let's hope, uh, I think I'm going to sneeze right now. Okay, it left. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. What happened? I thought I was going to sneeze. I hate that sensation when you want to sneeze and then it When leaves. you feel something in your nose, like... Yeah. Have we had a sneeze live ever on Barca Live? Yeah, her, right? You, you sneezed? Last time, but you were reading some stats and no one She was like, saw me. Oh, like, but... Tinkerbell. I didn't hear that. That's surprising because when my Mine's sneeze is downstairs, uh, like where we work, on, uh, where we have our computers in our office, uh, she's very loud and squeaky. My? My, when she sneezes. Really? Yeah. Shot there, which bounces off of uh, Junior Firpo. Deflected. No, that, that is something that um, our producer Amy can also verify. That Mai is very loud and squeaky when she when she I sneezes. I think she sounds like Tinkerbell when she sneezes. Yeah. But I don't. You're loud. I'm, I'm like a lion. <laughs> <laughs> like a lion. It's like what happened? <laughs> Junior, uh, Junior Firpo and um, Mark andre to Stegen cleared that corner kick away. There was a corner kick for Dynamo Kiev and we hadn't informed the fans. Uh, here's a run forward down the right-hand side, which is uh, well dealt with by Antoine Griezmann throwing for Barca. What a way to defend. Yeah, no. I really like Griezmann is always involved helping the defensive line. I love how the team defended today, uh -huh. generally. Everyone. Barca moving the ball around in their own half, and Alenia feeds it out to Serginho Dest. Oh, good touch by Serginho Dest, who could find Conrad de la Fuente. Here is Conrad with space to run. Conrad into the middle for Madre. Dest. Madre. Dest with the shot. Oh, oh he goes over the crossbar. Oh, Dest. That could have been a second goal for Serginho <laughs> Dest. It could have been so, wow. so he, he was just slightly off balance, so he said, well, to hell with it, I'll just shoot. <laughs> wow. All and right, he guys. almost scored. <laughs> almost. Let's go quickly to Julia, who will let us know what's happening on the live chat, because we're excited. Yeah, we're excited. The first one is about what happened with Mai and with the board and with your name. I mean, now everyone... <laughs> Mai. Yeah. My love. I Mai. Mean, we tried. Me. We Mai. tried so hard for everyone to speak your name correctly. Mai, Mai, Mai. It's not, but <laughs> um, <laughs> let me just say the correct one is this one, okay? We like... We, I, M -A -E. we like Philip. Team, team said it right. We have to keep working on that, guys, but it's good that... We'll they work know, on it. We'll work on it. They know they we'll have insist. issues, so we're going to try to okay. work that out. Okay. 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 We're going to go to the love stories right now because we have more comments about that. <laughs> the first one, um, Messi and Aguero, I'll be the light of your shining world. Ooh. I don't know who these words are for, but it's, <laughs> it's they're pretty nice words. So if there's any lucky <laughs> girl or boy around there, I would please it to him. Saiful Islam, I want someone for the love of God. I mean, this is pretty desperate. I think but he's saying, uh, like, I want someone for, for the love of God. Yeah, like that. Very for the love desperate. Of God. That's what he's saying. I think it's too desperate, but okay. I doubt very much that Alfredo's I love the love <laughs> First of all, then my wife from Panama. I'm gonna be like um, that. <laughs> well, good thing that you send your comment in here and that you don't tell your wife. Yeah, I, think I wouldn't go this with is that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with that. When <laughs> no, you go out and hey, out we're something. free. We, we, we like decide. Faithful men and women. Um, all media love stories are the best. I hope I can start one. I hope I can start one with you guys as I'm well. Blah, 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 I'm single, but I'm making a move. Oh. You what, are. What, what does that mean? And this is the correct I'm way. I'm single, and the but I'm making a move. Place <laughs> to do that. <laughs> 
Nyan Rios, my cute too, but she already has a boyfriend. That, That's by so the way, funny, has the, the same, same name. name. I know, yeah. I know. But <laughs> it's not crazy. your boyfriend. It's not. Can wait, you imagine wait, if it's Wait a minute, Julia, yeah. sorry, I have to interrupt because Jordi Alba <laughs> sets Griezmann up. Griezmann on the turn! Oh save. my gosh! Braithwaite on the rebound! <coughs> and he can't make the most of it. That could have been Braithwaite's hat trick. Wow. Still, Lenya on the volley. Dynamo struggling here. Barca keeping them in their own box. Conrad going to the pressure. And Dynamo finally clear it away. Mingitha. Down to Mateus. Okay, Julia, I might have to interrupt again, but let's okay, finish so this. Okay, so we were on my comment. We're moving into Messi Boy. I'm ready to leave my girlfriend for Robert. Also, not a good idea. <laughs> not, not to Robert, but don't leave your girlfriend if you have a yeah, girlfriend. Exactly. Don't leave you your girlfriend, girlfriend just leave wait until it's over and then go for Robert. Oh, okay, this Julia, that's another way to look at it. This is a possibility, right? What, what she said? Wait until you break up with your girlfriend and go to Robert. <laughs> It's a, I mean, this is possible, right? We can wait in here. We have patience, tons of patience. Um, I'm asking Sarah, are you a parking ticket? Because you got the fine written all <laughs> over you. Oh, Griezmann inside the box. The shot by Griezmann. Oh, and he scores. Go. The, oh, love chat go. Is, is, the love chat is bringing us yeah. luck. Boom. 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 Air five. Air five. Wait a minute, that, Julia, let, let's take the yeah, fans no, through the goal. Barca's fourth in the game, which means that my and myself, uh, no, Ju Julia and myself will uh, be uh, getting our no. predictions right, but that's fine. It's okay. It's, it's a <coughs> fourth so goal. With it, yeah. So beautiful I feed by Ricky goals. Puch out to Jordi Alba. Alenia played it inside to Alba again. First touch cross to Antoine Griezmann, who finished with his left foot, putting the ball across the keeper. Fourth goal for Barca, and Antoine Griezmann delighted to score. You can see in his expression. Yeah, you can see it in his expression. Uh, Julia, before the game ends, oh, we need to that. finish this. Yeah, I'm going to read just a <laughs> few more comments. Um, but <laughs> I, I was reading one. Like, <laughs> okay, that's not. We are last. not selling Robert, guys. This is the last one. We are objectifying <laughs> Robert. We cannot objectify. Ro this is not okay with me at all. Look at the face. I'm still not. I'm still not sure You're anyone would take me at 70%. You're right. cheaper <laughs> than my <laughs> I'm still not sure anyone would take me. Uh, what? But I mean, there's people in the live chat ready to <laughs> dump their boyfriends and girlfriends for you. You're on discount. You think no one? You're objectifying her. Robert, give yourself a little credit. I don't know. We don't, don't know, know how much <laughs> how much we have to pay for you. Please, seventy percent yeah. off. What, what's the price tag? Exactly. We want to know. Well, here I, in my I mean, if you want me with my with my socks, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm more expensive. expensive. I'm more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, it just came up not looking into the laptop now. Fin let's finish this because the referees are about to blow the final whistle. So. Okay, no, this, this is all I have to say. I just wish I could be looking into in the laptop now to see and comments about you, about your bargain, about your 70% <coughs> off discount. I'll be doing that. I'm, I, I'm actually going to do that, by the way. Yeah, yeah, we, we can talk about it in post game. Okay, we will do that. Thank okay. you for that, Julia. <laughs> Always you. making us laugh. Yeah. Anyway, final whistle. Full Barca time. take away a 4 0 win from uh, Kiev um, in a day in which Ronald Koeman changed the lineup completely and the players delivered. The players delivered, and the second half has been incredible. We were saying the first half was great. All that was missing was the goal, the final touches in the final third. And what happened in the second half? That happened exactly. Um, four goals, clean sheet, Ter Stegen, captain, not conceding a single goal. And this is not only a victory, but a convincing victory with a convincing performance. Convincing performance, and I really like, Robert said it, like everyone was doing a really good defensive job here. Everyone performs really well from the goalkeeper until the forwards. Everyone was so involved today. Mingueza with his debut doing an assist, doing an amazing game. And of course, all the debuts we have with Mateus, uh, the first time for Alenia in the starting lineup, for Junior. And what can we say? It's, it's the best result ever. And it's, it's type of a, a message for you next time. Not conceding goals, Eric. Clean but I sheet. did say four, so yeah, yeah, clean no, sheet. No, 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 no. Nothing, no, clean right. sheet. Anyways. No, you guys are mean to me. Um, it's now time for us to go to Barca TV Plus, where, we, where you guys will hear what Kuman has to say, the players have to say, and Robert will give you an in-depth analysis. We'll see you guys on Barca TV Plus.